Yeah, we're here right back in your motherfucking ears. Welcome, 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 ladies and gentlemen, to the official, I said the official Brunch Boys podcast. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to episode 120 and the two zeros now. Um, I'd like to introduce my co-host, Mr. Big Fish. You heard what up? You already know. Yours truly. <laughs> Oh, conductor, you go first. Yes, sir, don't mind if I do. Now back to my music. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're joining us for the first time, welcome. If you've already been joining us every week, we appreciate you tuning in for another episode. Hope you enjoy this one like you enjoyed the last or the 119 other ones. Plus, to have you heard. Make sure you cost some t shirts. Got t shirts for sale. Summertime's almost over, but you already know we got shirts on deck. You can wear those all year. And we got hoodies on deck too. Check the website. All that is in the bottom, in the description. I know none of you have read the description. And letting people know that are new to this and people that are old to this that probably don't know, there's timestamps. Always timestamps. Mm-hmm. So if you if there are certain topics you're looking for, if you're not a, if you're not here for the brunch, if you're here for the topics, if you're here for, you know, some laughs or have you heard low topics, whatever you're here for. If you're here for a good quote, got all that. All in the description. Go in there. Okay, hit the timestamp. No matter where you're listening from, timestamp is in the description on uh on every uh everywhere you're listening from. So make sure to check that if you're somebody you just want to skip around or if you want to listen to what I would say, just listen through. And shout out to all the teachers, therapists, anybody taking care of our physical and our mental. Always shout out to scrippers as well. And all um the scrippers and who else? Bartenders, there you yes. go. Shout out to bartenders, yo. My bad, I forgot y'all. Shout out to bartenders, man. Y'all important. Make sure you tip your bartenders too. And I think that's I think that's everything. Yeah. A wrap up. But yeah. So uh, we're gonna go straight into the bunch of the week. Not gonna waste y'all time. Bunch of the week this week is coming straight from you, from Stooges. This is local for anybody, any of our local listeners. It's local. It just popped up. This is um, a spot in Allentown. Who is it? Is it Liberty? I think it's Liberty. Liberty Street, Allentown. Not so far from the fairgrounds. So. Real close to the fairgrounds. Yeah. So it's, it's a nice, it's a nice bar. Uh, they have like a, it's not like a garage door opening mm-hmm. style type thing. So it's a really nice bar indoors, and there's outdoor seating as well. It's a brunch for our Saturdays and Sundays. Yep. From eleven to three. So if you're looking for, there's not a lot of brunches that do Saturdays. So if you're looking for a brunch on a Saturday, they got you. And the one thing that I really like, well, they have, they have aesthetics wise, there's two bars in there mm-hmm. and they have like more of a, like a rock and roll theme inside, you know, guitar hanging on the wall, old, old records on the wall, rock and roll albums hanging everywhere. So it's, it's that type of theme inside. And um, they they do something special that I've been saying on here. Uh, we had a conversation about it, I think a couple episodes ago. They where a lot of places you go, most is eight dollars, eight nine dollars. Mm-hmm. Most is this place only charges you three. So I got I got I got to give them a clap for yeah. that. Place. <laughs> it's not a lot of places you go that give you mimosas. That's what that's what most people places should be charging for mimosas. That's what I've always said, mm-hmm. which makes sense because it's not like they're losing anything on it. Literally champagne and juice. So, but they they charge three dollars if you get a certain flavor. Three dollars for the for a regular. Yeah, and then if you get certain flavors, an extra dollar. So they had um, if I remember correctly, mango. Yeah, they had a like a pink. What was it? Bubble gum. It was it was it was called Barbie. It's a Barbie. It was a, Barbie one, a pink one. And then what was the other one? I forget what the other strawberry one and mango. Strawberry and mango. Yeah. Okay, so they had. I think they have four options, plus you get the regular one. But they're all it's tall, it's tall, tall glasses too. Yeah, so they don't even skimpy one on uh, how much it is. Maybe they're doing this because they're new. You know, some people don't know better. Mm-hmm. Which is take it to your advantage. Go there as soon as possible, if you can. Um, go check out their brunch. Everything on their menu, uh, menu wise, like food wise, I mean, is less than fourteen bucks. Yes. So, like we always say, brunch is cheap, and it should be like that. 
usually if anything is I would expect anything like around twenty five dollars to be like steak. Yeah, get some type of like steak and eggs, anything like that. That should be probably the only thing that's past twenty dollars. Everything else should be twenty dollars or less, and they definitely do that. Everything is fourteen dollars or less on the menu. So you're gonna have a cheap brunch, you know, some light, and the food they give you an abundance. Yeah. So even though it's cheap, they give you an abundance, a whole lot. You actually get the if you get the tots. You're going to get a lot of them. Yeah, it's mad tots. So everything comes yeah. in abundance. I probably, except for the chicken. Yeah. Chicken that, <laughs> All right, if you get yeah. the chicken and waffle, that is the only thing that's not coming in abundance. Mm -hmm. But everything else that you get comes big portions. And especially the tots, if you get tots. If you like tots, it's the place to go for it, mm -hmm. for sure. But for what we had, um, I had the, br the brunch burger, which is the most expensive thing on the menu. Had the brunch burger and it was amazing. I actually saved mine for the next day because I got two <laughs> things. I also got the avocado toast. Yeah, the avocado toast, and that that was amazing. Mm -hmm. It looks it looks real real nice, real nice for the pictures. Normally, avocado taste does because or toast does because of the you know the colored pop, the green mm -hmm. and all that. Normally has nice colors to it, so normally pops for the pictures. That's why I got it for, but it ended up tasting good, so. I ate that first, but the the burger I enjoyed the next day, and telling you, it was good. It was uh, it was done right, and they give you egg on top. As you know, if you throw egg on it, it's breakfast. Yes. So, or if it's brunch. It could be breakfast or brunch if you throw an egg on it. So yeah, um, I would I would recommend a burger. If you if you're somebody who's eating either eating light or not really, you know, don't eat meat or something like that. Yeah, the avocado toast is hitting too. Mm -hmm. So make sure you uh. You go there, cop some shit. The burger for sure. Avocado to toast if you're somebody who wants to eat a little lighter. That's definitely good. They don't skimp on, they definitely don't skimp on nothing. The burger comes with some tots and everything is in portioned just right. They give you an abundance of everything. So except for the chicken, mm -hmm. but everything else is <laughs> is a lot. Even the burger, the burger was the actual, the actual meat pulse. Mm -hmm. Actual meat of the burger was real thick. So. It's not like they're going to give you some small ass burger. This is an actual big breakfast burger. Mm -hmm. And if you want to see what everything we're talking about, it looks like follow the Instagram at the official brunch boys. I already know. Oh, and top of that, we have a new clips page. Make sure you follow us up with the clips. Uh, it's OBB, OBB clips. That's the official brunch boys clips. We just didn't want to write the whole thing out. It was OBB clips. It's our new, it's our new clips page on Instagram. Make sure y'all follow that. You get the chance. And that's where we're going to be posting more clips, more and more clips from, you know, because the other page is for, for food. So now we have to make a new one just for the clips so y'all can see, you know, get the previews of the podcast. You can share with your friends on there. So make sure you check that out, follow us, and then y'all make sure y'all do that. Uh, go ahead, man. I had the chicken and waffles. Um, it was at the mine. It was, like you said, it wasn't a lot, but it was really, it was really good. Um, they, I think they put like some type of like brown sugar on top of the chicken and the waffles, so that's why it was kind of sweet, but it was mad good. Um, there's gonna be there's gonna be a post with the drip on it and everything too, so yeah. But I highly recommend it. I I thoroughly enjoyed it. Like the chicken was the chicken was right. The waffles was it wasn't like they weren't like hard enough and they were soft paws. But yeah, nah, yeah, it was it was good. One of the better ones I've ever had. What, what, would you, what would you give the spot then? Or is, it, is it something you recommend to the people? The the, uh, like the, the spot itself. itself. No, oh, the spot mind. itself. The food, just the spot itself. Um, yeah, no, it's a it's a nice little spot. It's a nice little spot in downtown. I'll I'll recommend it. I say like seven and a half out of ten. I'll recommend y'all go there, try it out for yourself, see what you think. But yeah, now nah, the food the food there was dope though. Uh, but I would say um oh it's across from the cemetery. If anybody has any uh you know <laughs> <laughs> any reservations about something like that. Mm -hmm. It's, it's across from the cemetery, so just a heads up. Yeah, uh, you definitely won't miss it then. You know, if you if you see the cemeteries right across. Yeah, but uh, I say it's, it's a nice it's a nice little spot, and you know, it's, it's one of them is newer brunch, so I'm sure the menu might change around a little bit, or maybe not. But as long as they keep the mimosas the way that it is, definitely a spot that I think you should go check out. Other places charge you a whole lot more for mimosas and give you a whole lot less. Mm -hmm. You know, take it from us. You know, we do <laughs> do brunch a lot, so it's a place. Especially if you want, if you want to go grab some mimosas, you get you know enough enough for your money. So 
Um, definitely yeah. do that. But yeah, that's Stooges in Allentown. Make sure you check it out. Allentown, PA, for anybody that isn't, you know, isn't local. Mm-hmm. And anybody that is local, make sure y'all go check it out. Because it's definitely, uh, it's newer. So you might want to take advantage of the pricing and the mm-hmm. and the portions right now as much as you can before, you know, they change it up. And if it gets popular, yep. they definitely, that's what places do. Once it start getting more popular, they're going to change, get a little less and less, you know. So make sure you get on it right now. Yes. All right. But, yeah, that's a bunch of the week for y'all. And hope y'all go check it out. You know, but we're going to post all the pictures on the Instagram. So follow us. Mm-hmm. And, uh. So how you been, man? Where, where, where we at this week? Um, coming in. Ah, uh, before we get into the topic, <laughs> um, it's been uh, it's been a boy, it's been a boring time. I haven't really been doing much. It's been work, work, gym, work. No, yeah, yeah. It's been it's been a whole bunch of nothing going on for me. I, but I have yeah, been watching. Gotta, I have been gotta get out, man. I hear you, but now nah, I've been watching. Because you know track and field That's our thing So the world championships Have been going on I've been able to catch them All live so far It's been dope So far all, Like almost all the events Have been dope I've been enjoying it I don't know if you've been catching Catch everything man Yeah yeah <laughs> I haven't watched anything live bro, But I've been too busy to catch them To catch them live But I, be, I get the I get to see every race though mm-hmm. I, catch the, I get the update on the clips Yeah I got you runs yeah, and I'll be watching it at work. I hope I don't get in trouble for that, but yeah, that's what I'll be doing. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know some of the takeaways I've been having, though, like, because it was dope. Got to give Shakira Richardson her props. You know what I'm saying? She, oh, yeah, shout, yeah. shout out to Shakira, man. I mean, I know I, know I did my, if you go back to the late, late episodes or early <laughs> episodes, I should say, they're late now, but they're early for y'all. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I did my, she was she was uh not not living up to her capabilities. I've been exactly since yeah. Since you, but yeah, she wasn't living up. I was talking my shit, but gotta give the flowers, man. You know, she picked herself up, mm-hmm. putting in the work. Yeah, because twenty twenty two was rough for her. Like she was just getting beat left and right. So like you know she's focused, man. I like no, it. you know so you know where I not noticed the change. I don't, you saw did you see her in the uh, nationals? She pulled off the hairpiece oh. and threw it to the back. I was like, okay, nah. I see, I see what's going she, on now. She was doing that the whole time. <laughs> that was an act. But nah, it's good for the sport though. You need you need things like that. Yeah, you need. And I and I, I like that they um, because she's 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 the face of the sport. So, you know, I like that she's doing good. If if she her doing good, makes the sport bigger. Mm-hmm. So, I hope she continues that. And you know, hopefully she gets her uh, her double. Yeah, she won't, but she, I hope she does. <laughs> oh, you know, Jamaicans is gonna run that one. Oh uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I don't think she's good playing no more. I think uh, I think she about to she n- kill it. But I maybe maybe she put, maybe she got something in her bag. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, I thought Tulu Tulu better step up, man. Yeah, what you're doing out there. <laughs> you know, Noel I was probably gonna double two because he he took the one. It was a big surprise. I'm not gonna lie. It was, a, it was a surprise to me. I ain't gonna lie. I thought Fred was gonna do his thing. And he fell out in the semis, slacking. But underestimating the opponent, man. Yeah. So <laughs> I swear you don't. For anything y'all out there doing, don't underestimate the people that are doing it with you, man, or that's in the same same type of lane as you. As you. That's where a lot of people go wrong. Like you might have the talent or whatever, but you underestimate the talent, the, the want of other people. That's how you get left, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I want to shout out um, uh, Tobogo for being the first African to. Uh, Medal in the hundred in the world championship. Shout out to the guy. He's only twenty two. He's gonna be a problem <laughs> when he gets older. He's gonna be a problem. Um, and then pretty much uh, the four hundred hurdles was no contest. I mean, every year it sucks. Sydney didn't wasn't even gonna run it anyway. So we already kind of know who's gonna win that one. Uh. The 400 hurdles for the guys. Uh, Warhol won again. That dude, he's, he's different. He's a beast. No competition. Yeah, there's no comp there either. <laughs> I, th- I thought Rob Benjamin would give him a little bit more comp, but he didn't. It was, nah, he got. I think he finished third. Some guy, uh, the other guy, I forget where he was from, but yeah, he caught, he caught him in the end. So I'm just like, dang. And then, um, yeah, the only things we waiting on now is the 800. I'm pretty sure, yeah, I'm, I think Mo's probably going to do her thing. That she always does. Yeah, she's gonna body that shit. Yeah. 
But you never know. <laughs> I'd be out uh, there watching the uh, 15, 15 or 3,000. But um, the, 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 the dude that was probably uh, supposed to win it. Oh, yeah, he got beat again. Yeah. Yeah. Yinga Britson. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's the, that's the second year in a row he he, he fell in the second yeah. in the finals. <laughs> yeah, because everybody was talking about him like he was going to win the whole thing, and then there's somebody from Great Britain caught him again, kicked up at, kicked up the last two hundred, and he couldn't catch him. What well, they do, man? Yeah, every he's, time. Boy, that boy, he's a goat though. Yeah, no, oh, hell yeah, for sure. Uh, he he still he still got the five thousand though, so we'll see how he does in that. He's gonna buy you that shit. Yeah, he should be good. Um. Uh, uh oh! All right, there is one I wanted to ask you about. So here's a question, right? So remember for anybody, in the Olympics? For anybody who doesn't know about track, um, this track you can fast forward. Yeah. <laughs> so um, so remember in the Olympics and the high jump? Remember what happened? Yeah, they split the medals and shit. I seen that shit. Uh, the women's pole vault. Same thing happened again. Yeah, they matched up and everything, and they got to the last jump. They didn't get it. And they gave them the option, and they both took the gold medal. Um, so my question for you is, <laughs> well, uh, in that situation, are you, are you just accepting the gold medal or are you, you jumping off? I'll jump till my legs don't work. <laughs> As I, 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 I saw that last night, I had a conversation about it. And mm-hmm. I was like, I, it, I see, I see, all right. So I see the sportsmanship. Mm-hmm. I get it. Yeah. There's sportsmanship there, but. Some some of us are built definitely when it comes to sports. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm not built to to share a medal, a first place medal with anybody. I rather come in. I rather try and then lose mm-hmm. and come in second than for me to sit there and be like, yeah, I'm gonna split this first with you. Nah, I'm not trying to go down in history as the dude who split first. <laughs> I, I don't I don't care if we we can we're gonna keep jumping until we both our arms fall off, mm-hmm. both our legs fall off. Like whoever whoever can't do it no more. All right, you, you take the win, cool. At least I know I I did my thing, but mm-hmm. hell no. Now nah, it, look, yeah. it looks nice and it look it's all cute for the for TV and it's all cute for like you know people's like oh people are sitting at home. It's like oh that's all so so mm-hmm. cute and yeah sportsmanship. But fuck that. Nah, I'm I'm the same way. If I, if it was, if it was me, nah, we jumping this off. If I lose, I lose. I don't I don't care. Saying, at the end of the day. If we can't make that jump, bring it back down. Now let's do it again. Yeah. Now we if we both make it. Take it back up. Let's do it again. Like that's where I'll be like, we doing that shit over and over again until literally the stadium is closed yeah. or we one of us gives up. Like, but somebody's gonna have to concede. Yes, right. I'm, I'm I, and I'm hey until the body shuts down. Fuck it. We, we jump. Yes, exactly. Yeah, I can't do that. It, it's, it makes for a nice story. It makes for a wholesome shit. But like me, when it comes to internationals, I have, I have, yeah, I fly the flag. It's Team USA all day. You know, shout out, shout out to the girl that won. Obviously, but. I, I, I'm not with it's not, I'm not gonna say It's just not for me It's weird to me I'm not I'm not one that's gonna be Sharing first place I need to have first place To myself That's just no, me I'd rather Jump it off And And get second Than yeah. to share a medal With somebody Yeah, yeah. Cause I know you, you beat me that day Exactly And in situations like that If you're doing anything competitive Just think WWKD What would Kobe do <laughs> Kobe ain't sharing no medals No Mm-mm so fuck all that. <laughs> and with that, I want to say, yo, shout out to the GOAT, man. Today's uh, today's Kobe Day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I probably listened on a different day, but we're recording on Kobe Day. This eight twenty four. Shout out to the God. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, um, prayers to him and his baby and everybody else that lost their lives on that, on that helicopter. Mm-hmm. But today's Kobe Day celebration day. They dropped a couple of kicks. Fuck Nike because <laughs> nobody got them. Literally. It's like 10 people in the world probably got them. Mm-hmm. But, you know, today's Kobe Day celebration. Love the guy, man. Yeah. Uh, did you see, uh, you see what they announced? What? Um, they're putting the statue up February 8th next year. That's just like, then it's in front of the crypto. Yeah, it's going to be dope. That's what's man. I mean, he should have been had one, but, you know, it is what it is. No, he was going to get one but anyway. If yeah. he was living, he would have got one regardless. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, shout out to Go Man. Yeah, what else you got, man? Oh, yeah. Outside, yeah, outside of the outside of the world championships, ain't, ain't been much going on, man. I'm just here, I'm chilling. So how, how's your how's your time been, though? Man, been a crazy week, yo. You know, busy body. Mm-hmm. I be out here, but uh, started at day security. 
the Security Music Fest. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna talk about that on here. I did Security Music Fest, and that was a good time, man. Um, I came to a realization that people are liars. <laughs> so it's uh, it's kind of amazing how um, how much you realize when you're doing some something like that. It's it's, it's amazing how you realize how, how much people people lie. Mm-hmm. You know, grown people they people just lie, man. I'm just every time I do it, I'm just like, damn, yo, like people really lie about like the dumbest shit. Mm-hmm. You know? So it's one thing I realized doing that, and also another thing I realized doing that is I'm when it comes to that, I'm very I'm like the calm. So I did all the security guys. They're like quick like hot-headed mm-hmm. i'm saying it's crazy it's, it's crazy to see when people are in a position of power how they use it and it being a bouncer is one of them situations you get to see that because the people you work with so like the people i work with they're like if anybody says anything wrong to them bump them by accident they're throwing you out mm-hmm. they don't give a fuck right it's right like, and you're not gonna do shit about it because we're, we're bouncers and if if they're gonna throw you out I, I, I'm standing with him every time. Exactly. I mean, it's one of them things. It's like, even if he's wrong for doing that to you, yo, bro, you got to go because mm-hmm. he don't want you here. So you got to go. But that's how they are. Me, I'm the opposite. I'll, rather, I'll talk to you before I kick you out. You know, if you do some dumb shit, you're like, yo, come on, man. What are you doing? Like, mm-hmm. relax. Mm-hmm. I'm going I'm to give you, I'm the, I'm the, I'm real chill. And they, and they need that. They, they even say, they're like, yo, like, we need that type of shit, especially with so those kind of like good cop, bad cops type thing. Well, I'm the only good cop. Yeah, right. Okay. We're, ten, we're ten bad cops. Yeah. That, that's literally <laughs> what it is. So, well, actually, no, actually, me and my me and my boy, boy, he he'll he's he's soft spoken, but he'll just throw you out without saying shit. He just be like, get the fuck out of here. Mm-hmm. Like, he's not high headed. He's not gonna like the other guys. They'll yell at your face and then throw you out. He's just gonna be like, nah, you gotta go. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean, me, I'll talk to you. Like I'm. People will come up to me and they will see that. People will, people will peep that shit. So they'll walk around the other guys and come talk to me because I'm level-headed. Like, I'll be real level-headed with them. I'll explain to them. I'll explain shit. Everybody else will be like, no. That's it. Mm-hmm. Ask me a question. No. It's because we said so. Mm-hmm. Like, that. that's how they are. So, like, especially for me, it was a lot of times the minorities. Like, I try to talk them down. Like, I have people, literally people shake my hand after a situation when they got kicked out. They'll shake my hand and be like, oh, respect you, bro. Appreciate it, blah, blah, and I'm like, oh, I ain't trying to, like, you know, hit you over the head and shit, you know? And, like, throw you out. Two kids got choked out. What? My, my two guys I was wearing, yeah, two kids got choked out. We had a couple of situations. Like, we should have saved that one question for this one. Okay. But had a couple of situations go on. Two kids got choked out. Um, The one the one, the one I got choked that one of the ones I got choked out, I actually, I talked to him. He, he shook my hand. He was like, yo, I respect you, you, you're not doing what they're doing, blah, blah, blah. Because I walked them out. Mm-hmm. And I, while I was walking them out, I was talking to him because he was trying to fight them. And I'm like, bro, this is not going to end well. They're going to kill you. So just relax. But he left. I kicked him out. I told him. I was like, yo, don't let him back in because they're going to kill him. Stupidly, he went and swapped shirts with his boy. He oh. came back. His boy came back in looking for the one security guard. Got choked out. They called the cops. They threw him in the car. Then dude came back searching for dude. Choked him out, threw him in the car, in the cop car, took him away. The type of shit, man. People are crazy. Well, so my thing is, is like, if you warned them what was gonna happen, why would they still? Because sit people there? are intoxicated, bro. Intoxication and and like a lot of mental mental uh, restriction walking around. <laughs> I'm telling you. And speaking of that, there was a dude mm-hmm. that comes dressed in all black. So I, he, he he walks up. I look up. I'm like what the fuck? So it was a hot ass day. Comes is the last day too. I'm um, dressing all black. Had a hoodie on, a jacket on, um, cargo pants, and he had an army boots on, and he had a backpack on, looking like a mass shootout in these streets. Okay. So he comes in, whips out. I'm like, oh, let me get your ID. Whips out his ID. I scan it, whatever. And he seems to have a badge on him, but I didn't really get a good look at it. So I'm like, all right, whatever. Mm-hmm. But he looks way out of place. He shouldn't. He shouldn't have been there. Mm-hmm. When he comes in, he's, sco- he's scoping the place, scoping it and shit. And then he sits down, doesn't grab a drink, doesn't grab water. He's sweating. Well, it's, and he's bald, too, on top of that. <laughs> just imagine that shit. Like, he's just looking like a mass shooter. Okay. Comes, he sits down, and he just sits there, and he just literally just scoping the place out. Sits there. So I was like, oh, he looked too suspicious. Call the cops. Mm-hmm. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cops came through. They just talked to him real quick, and they were like, oh, he's been... People have been calling them all week. 
He hasn't bothered nobody. But they were like, if you get a couple complaints, y'all can kick him out and shit. Mm-hmm. But only two people complained, so it wasn't enough to kick him out. Okay. But, uh, hey, he sat there for like an hour, man. Just, it just, just nothing. Scoping, scoping shit. Didn't drink nothing. Nothing. But I think he just somebody who likes the attention. Uh, that he, you know, he looks out of place and shit. Mm-hmm. But it was, it was just the timing of it. it. That was that day they were doing fireworks. We were like, yo, if they do fireworks and this dude got a gun, like, you can't even tell the difference mm-hmm. if he starts shooting people. So. I'm telling you, I legitly whatever you could picture in your mind from the description I gave you, that's what he looked like. <laughs> so even when he left, we had to trail him out. So I'm like walking through the crowd, acting like I'm on my phone. Like, I'm looking like a real like cop out in these streets, right? Know? Yeah. Um, but yeah, like you know, walking through people because it's a lot of people. So walking through people to make sure that he actually leaves, goes into the porter party for like for like ten minutes. I'm like damn, you gonna come out strapped? Mm-hmm. But he came out and walked away though. So. Yeah, man, that was a it was it was a crazy time, you know, crazy time doing that's, yeah, that's, doing security. That's suspect as well. I enjoy doing security, man. I get to throw people out, get to enjoy my time. People do dumb shit. Mm-hmm. It's this. It's one of the times where it's just like I could tell you what to do if you do some dumb shit, but I don't abuse it. You know what I mean? Like I'll I'll be like, yo, like this one kid. He we, we blocked off the thing. He snuck up behind me. Somebody snitched on him. Which is not cool. You don't snitch on the people. Mm-hmm. But somebody snitched on him because he got through behind me and I didn't see him because I was distracted. So I went up to him and I was like, yo, bro, did you? how did you get up here? And I'm, I'm asking you questions like, bro, you you going to lie to my face. <laughs> How'd you get up here? Yo, I've been up here. I'm like, how long? For like half hour, I'm like, impossible. So I'm like, why are your friends down there and you up here then? And I'm like, I'm not asking you questions. Like, I'm talking to him like I'm their parents. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, I'm not asking you questions because, you know, I... That just for my own entertainment, I already know the answer. I'm just asking you to see if you're going to lie to me. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, yo, you got to get your ass. And long ass line. I'm like, you got to get your ass back down down there mm-hmm. and stand in the back of that line. He's like, yo, bro, don't do it to me yo, my, in front of my friends. That's crazy. Like, man, I don't give a fuck. Yeah, man, like, I'm like, fuck you and your friends, bro. Uh-huh. You get the fuck down the steps, man. <laughs> and he like, he like, nah, don't do it to me, man. Don't do it to me. I'm like, bro, get the fuck down the stairs. That's when I'm like, all right, now it's like mm-hmm. you playing around because mm-hmm. you're not taking me seriously and shit. So then, you know, you got to push them down the stairs and shit, man. You know, you got to get a little physical sometimes with people and shit, but <laughs> I enjoy that shit though, man. I'm, I'm the, I'm the calm, I'm the calm, I'm the good cop, man. I be, I talk to people, people like when we block it off, mm-hmm. they'll come to me be like, yo, I got Like the girls would be like, I gotta go pee. Can I just go up there and go pee? I'm like, yo, there's porta potties right there. Like, but nah, those bathrooms are clean. I'm like, yo, I can't let nobody up. And then I, I explain to them, I'm like, if I let you up, then the next person behind you is going to be like, I got to go pee. Mm-hmm. And then I got to let everybody up. do it, yeah. They got to go pee. So I'm like, I can't let you up. And you're not, sp- I don't know you. Yeah. And then I hate when people be like, oh, you saw me yesterday. I don't give a fuck. Give me ID, bro. <laughs> I don't know you like that. Like, I don't give a fuck if I remember. How do you know I remember your face? You Even like if it. I do remember your face, still give me ID. Mm-hmm. But yeah, shit like that. Like people just, but then if you, if they talk to the dude that be standing next to me, he'd be like, no, you're not going up. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. And then they'll come to me and be like, yo, come on, bro. Yo, gonna, gonna be like, nah, man. Like, stop fucking playing around and shit. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's how I be doing security, man. It's, it's, it's a fun, it's fun gig. Mm-hmm. I really enjoy it. Um, but yeah, you know. Um, how do you even get approached to do that anyway? I be just no people, man. Okay. Yeah, shit's fun, man. I, I actually just got a call to do security again this weekend, but I don't think I'm going to do it, though. Yeah. But I, I Wait, enjoy it. What the hell's going on? It was an event. Oh, okay. it's actually it's actually a, a live live podcast. Mm. But I'm like, I'm a podcaster. I can't be doing security for another podcast. <laughs> That's crazy. So, yeah, that don't even make sense. So I'm probably not doing that one. Okay, but yeah, you know, I do security. If you anybody listening, if you need security, holla at me, yo. I got you. Make sure, make sure, my fuckers don't act up. You know. But then I also went to this, this dope shit. Went to uh, this shit called Dinner on Blanc. So it's a uh, it's a it's like a French themed thing that they do in Philly every year. It's, they do in different different uh, states as well, and I think different countries too. Okay, but it's a French theme themed all white event, and you it's invite only. Mm-hmm. So in order to get in, you have to be. Uh, they do like a wait list. Like if you haven't been before, you you have to wait mm-hmm. to a certain time frame. Be on a wait list, and it's first come first serve. Excuse me for tickets. So. I've been trying for three years and the pre- previous two years, I just forgot. Mm-hmm. So I missed the date every time, but this year it was on top of it. Got some tickets, ended up going. 
when I tell you, it was about probably two thousand people all at a at a uh, museum okay. outside. So basically, you bring your own. It's called Dinner on Block. If you want to look it up, they have an Instagram page too, so you can easily find it. I think Dinner on Block Philly. But you, it's all white event, so you dress all white. Uh, you bring your bring it bring your own table. So it's like it's like a it's like an outdoor picnic, but invite only. Oh yeah, type thing. So you have to know. So if somebody is since I went, I can invite people next year to come, which is cool. So you can bring your friends and shit. Oh yeah. Um. So it's a all white event. Bring your own table. Bring your own food. Bring your own wine. Can't bring hard liquor because they don't want you acting like a dummy. Mm-hmm. And um, decorate your table. So they do like best decorations. Mm-hmm. I think we had the best decorations this year, <laughs> but they chose other people. It's crazy because we walked around, and the only people we we saw that we were like, "Damn, that's competition," are the ones who won. So I was actually happy about that. Because okay, that's just like, the only other people who I feel like matched up to our shit was were the winners. We went hard for our shit. It's pretty dope. I'm gonna post up a, a reel. I got a I got a dope reel. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna post up so y'all can see what, what it was about, but. All white event, man. Just imagine two thousand people in a, you know, in a around at the outside of a museum. Y'all yeah, pretty much just having like a big ass picnic. A, telling you, they had they had they were doing double dutch. Oh. They had uh, they had a carousel, mm-hmm. um, you know, with the ponies, all that shit. Like they they had mass shit. They had a photo booths. Um, they had uh, they had a couple of things that we actually didn't really see. Mm-hmm. But they had mad shit though, man. And then they and then they had DJs and they had people playing live music. That shit was a vibe. I even I never go live on Instagram. I went live because the 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 dancing like we were outside dancing and shit. Everybody's in white, just having a great time, man. Um, if you if you're single, I say it's a great place for you, man. Go check it out. You know, okay. um, you might meet the woman of your dreams or ladies. You might meet the guy that you want. But couples go there. A lot of couples go there together. It's just mad people. It was 2,000 people, man. 2,000 people all dressed in white, having a great time. I had a great time. It was amazing. So I say check it out. If you're somebody who's into some shit like that, you know, just trying new experience, dinner on Blanc. Trust me. Sign up for next year. It will be around this time. It's around this time every year. So sign up for next year. It costs anything to sign up? Nah, it's free. It's free. Oh, okay. God. It's free to sign up. I, I think you, I don't know. You pay. I think when you do select, when you go in and you do select your, like you have to select the table mm-hmm. and all this, a, a group member and shit. One, I think once you do that, it's like, I think it's like 28 bucks maybe. It's cheap. Oh, that's not cheap. Bad. So, yeah. Uh, just make sure y'all sign up. Yeah, man. If you want to experience some shit like that, shit was super dope. Still waiting for my pictures, but shit was dope though. I had a great time. Oh, they had like photographers there? Yeah, yeah. They had a couple photographers. They have photographers and all that. So, I would, uh, I would say definitely okay. if, if that's your type of vibe if you never heard anything like that i'm putting you on you're welcome yeah <laughs> and uh went to taco fest so i went to taco fest every for last year i try to i try to get i try to get into um the hot pepper eating contest so people that don't know i'm i could eat i could eat the hottest of hottest peppers uh you know i do wings when i eat wings i eat the hottest wings that's possible i've done all these wing contests i don't lose I've done them all. So, hot pepper eating contest at Taco Fest in Philly. I figured I was like, I'm going to just go and just kill that shit. Right, yeah. Last year, I tried to get in. I was with, uh, I was with Chris. I got in. I, I ended up getting second second place. To be honest, I won. Mm-hmm. I honestly won. Because the dude, so basically what you had to do was, it wasn't like one where you just eat one one pepper at a time. It was... One where you had to just, they give you a bowl of peppers. You got to, whoever eats it the fastest, and then you got to flip it upside down on your head. And then, so nothing falls out. Mm-hmm. And then you got to stick your tongue out to let them know that you, you ate everything. Um, The dude that would, the dude that won, that they gave the trophy to, he left his seeds and stems on the table. And somehow he won. <laughs> but it is what it is. I came in second. I told him I'll come back next year and I'll, I'll get the trophy. But that was a good time. Taco Fest. It was it was dope. A lot of people, uh, not a good time. We saw a lot of people that's from here locally. I saw a lot of people from here that you know that I know down there. So and a couple of people that I live in in uh, in Philly mm-hmm. that I know that I saw and we linked up with them over there. So yeah, man, had a good time. Taco Fest got second place with the uh, with the hot peppers and yeah, it was it was it was a dope time, man. That's what's you know? up. I was looking for an event. I'm always down with the shits. Right. Yeah. 
always everywhere, man. Always everywhere. Always trying to trying to find some new shit to do. And yeah, that's it. It was a good. It was a good. Uh, it was a good kind of like closing to the summer and shit. Been a very eventful year. Mm-hmm. So a lot happening. But you know what I mean. There's still a lot more left to do. And we're gonna do that shit. But yeah, man. It was a uh, yeah. Taco Fest just happened. So yeah, that was my. It's been my weeks. My weeks for sure. Yeah. No, yeah, I think, oh, the one thing I forgot to mention. So, yeah, people out there, y'all probably do notice or not. I'm big wrestling fan. I'm going to be at WrestleMania next year. I bought my tickets. Oh. I'm out there. My seats are actually going to be on the field, too. So, it's going to be at Lincoln Financial in Philly. I, I, I already said it. I was like, when I found out last year that it was going to be in Philly, I was like, I'm going and I'm going to get the best p- tickets I possibly can. I'm trying. I'm, I'm trying to be there for that. I'm trying to get that experience. So I will be there. How much they run you? Um. So I got. I got a two day pass, and it came out to like a thousand. Damn. No. All right. There's no price to nothing. I mean, to some sure you like, man. Yeah. That's what's up. That's what's up. So I can't. I can't wait. I'm hype. <laughs> All right. Wrestling fan. It's it's, it's was it's WrestleMania. Yep. It's WrestleMania. Yeah. So it's two oh, days. Man. So it's Saturday and Sunday. Because yeah, there's yeah the single day tickets they like raping people on Ticketmaster. It's like seven hundred dollars for like a one hundred section seat. I got two days for a thousand, and I'm gonna be on the field. So basically, so you going by yourself? Um, or your people's going? You know? So a friend, so my friend, his wife, and their kid are going that Sunday. Saturday, I don't know what's happening yet. Man, anybody the, sitting in your section or no? No, nah. Mm. And nobody wanted to go in on the pre-sale. That they, they they convinced me to do it, so I was just like, you know, whatever, I'll do it. Why not? But they convinced you to get the pre-sale. Yeah, because I because I already said because I already said it's like I'm trying to get the best seats I possibly can. So so like, you're gonna I'm be a, down there by yourself. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You gonna be dressed up? Probably not. Most likely not. I'm gonna get, I'm gonna make a sign though. I'm gonna yeah, definitely make a sign. Are you gonna make go to an event? Now? What, what, what's your sign gonna say? I have no idea yet, but I'm definitely gonna make a sign. So who's your wrestler? Uh, my guy right now is Roman Reigns, so it'll probably be something like I, I could have guessed that. Knowledge, <laughs> I could have guessed that easily. That, nah, I, that won't be just be one sign. I probably have multiple signs. We'll see. All right, good luck yeah. with that, man. Good luck. <laughs> hopefully, they show you on TV. Uh, it's probably not likely, but hopefully, <laughs> you can't make your way up. So, so all right, field. so basically, the section I'm in, right? So you know how like the ring set up, and they got the announcers. Mm-hmm. So there's a section that's behind the announcers. It's not that one. It's the one behind that. Man, look, if we could go to the Drake concert, you could make it through to get to the front. It's, it's all, it's all, it, just do that shit, man. I forgot. I'll, I'll see, I'll see, I'll see what the situation is. Like. If it's a field, with, if, if it's a place with no chairs, mm-hmm. you can always make it to the front. Oh, they got chairs there. There's, there's chairs there. There's gonna be, everybody everybody there's just gonna stands up, but there's chairs. Yeah. Bro, as long as everybody's standing, mm-hmm. you can make your way to the front, bro. <laughs> Trust me. <it's, laughs> it, I'm telling you. It, they, there's there's nothing. There's not really, like, they, they can try and stop shit like that, but they, they don't. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, a lot of the people, if you look at the Drake concert, a lot of people that stand around that cube, bro, they, their seats are up. Right, yeah, yeah. They just sneak down and shit. I got you. There's too many people it's for anybody to say shit. Sneak through, man. I'm telling you, just take the chance, bro. What's the fucking worst that's going to happen? Saying? Oh man, you only live once, yo. <laughs> Not to be on all the Yolo shit, but I'm that's, how, that's how I be with it, man. Fuck that. You only live once. You might as well just do that shit. Uh, yeah, I don't want to be one of them guys that's like jumping the fence and doing doing something stupid. I'm like, yeah, I ain't no, trying to do all that. Jump the fence to go look at some shit. Be like, yo, and even if they stop you, just be talk to them, yo. I'm telling you, some of the, a lot of them people that they they that stand there. If you go to stadiums, mm-hmm. a lot of them people that that guard that shit, be like old ladies and. And dudes that's out of shape, man. I'm like, man, get the fuck out of my face. <laughs> I'd be like, yo, I'm trying to see this shit. This is once a lifetime. Right. Be like, yo, it's my favorite. My you should, you gotta you gotta bullshit him. You gotta give him a story, man. You gotta be, yo, it's my it's my favorite wrestler. Like, I've been wanting to see this. These are the best he I could get for the price. And come on, yo, it's not gonna hurt nobody. You know? <laughs> Throw my little 20 or something. Be right in the front, man. Tell you, yo, you gotta take, yo, I'm telling we'll you, see. you gotta take shots. I'm like, bro, that, that whole week is gonna be insane, too. Oh man, yeah, the NBA schedule just dropped, and you know how I do the Grizzlies thing every year. I already picked my game, I already know which game I'm going to. The Lakers is gonna be in Memphis on my birthday, so that's why that's when I'm gonna go. Gotcha. So it's literally it's WrestleMania, 
then it's like I got four days, and then I'm out to Memphis. So and it's gonna be it's gonna be one of them weeks. Uh, you want you want to buy yourself again? I'm gonna see who. I'm gonna see if I get somebody to go with me. This I'm, I'm not going by myself. You're not taking Jordy. I don't know. Uh, we, ain't, we ain't that far yet, so I'm gonna take him, man. You still would <laughs> at that time. You definitely that far. Oh, of course, then yeah. yeah but all right, then there you go. That's your travel companion already, my boy. <laughs> all right, let's talk about some shit, man. Okay. So for anybody, for anybody watching now, my bad. Forgot to cut on the. Oh. <laughs> forgot to cut on the video, but we here though. Yeah, we, we, welcome, we out here. Welcome. I'm glad to see you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you see. I'm glad you see me. For anybody listening to audio. Pff, Ignore that. Don't yeah. even matter. Because y'all got it the whole way anyway. But yeah, but where we at, man? This was sent to me. So basically the post is a woman that has nine months. She has a terminal illness. She has nine months left to live. She pretty much asked her husband if she could sleep with her ex one last time before she died. So... Yeah. So the yeah. So basically, the, the caption says a heartbroken husband was left distraught after his wife revealed that her dying wishes to sleep with her ex one last time. Um, the man explained in a now deleted Reddit post on the sub forum, like "Am I the asshole?" that has been reposted by another user that his wife was diagnosed with a terminal disease and had about nine months left to live. Of course, he wanted to support her through her devastating final months and grant whatever wish. <laughs> state number one, but. <laughs> when she disclosed that she's been longing to sleep with an ex-partner one last time, he wasn't sure if he could help her. The man, angered and hurt, confronted her request, feeling trapped by her terminal illness. He resented the situation, unsure of his response's correctness, expressing deep discomfort. Me, personally, I think that's crazy that he, <laughs> he, like, he even feels bad that he denied that certain request. Like, you shouldn't it's like you shouldn't feel bad for saying no to her wanting to sleep with somebody else. But if he said, if if you tell her, I'm I'm going to give you whatever. Like, that's, that's why I said that's why he made the mistake, granting whatever wish, because you never know what it's gonna be. Should have set some parameters, my boy, because <laughs> that that's a why. Yeah, because that's that's he did set this parameters by saying no. <laughs> well, if, if it was you, what would you what would you do? The answer is no for me. Can't do. Yeah? No, nah, I'm not. Nah. If it's her dying wish, nope. You better go find another dying wish then. So nah, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not fulfilling that. Sorry. So, what you, so what are you gonna do then? You gonna you gonna stay? You're gonna stay? With, she has ninety days, and she wants to do something. So what if she just goes and does it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, boy, she she gonna die alone. Then I'm sorry. Nah, I'm you know, not you sorry. Gonna leave? Yeah, I'm leaving. If, if I literally told you no and you go out there and do it anyway, you on your own then. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So if she did it, if she did it and she let's say she did it with only ten days left. She went and did a day a day eleven. And she had ten days left. She's spending those ten days by herself. Yeah. She, she go to her really family. Feel? Yeah. The reason nah reason being I'm not gonna I I feel like I know where this is going, but it's like nah. What I'm basing it on is uh, that not there's not been no foolery going but, on. But all right, my question is right, okay. If you, if she does this, she's gonna die. Like you're you're, you know what I'm saying? You're gonna she's gonna be gone regardless. So why would you keep her from doing something like that? You know what I mean? It's not like so, uh, it's not like she has to do it and then you have to stay with her. She's gonna do it and die. So where 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 where's where's that where's that where's so that? why so why would I why would I want to resent her for ten days before she passes? But why would that's what I'm asking? Why would you resent her? Because it's not like it's not like she cheated on you and you're gonna stay with her and so you look crazy. You could this is something you could do and nobody even has to know because she's gonna die with it in ten days. So my whole thing is right. So no, it's, it's, no, it's, it's, a, it's a level. It's a level. It's a level of respect. Understand. No, it's a level of respect. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> she asked me to do this thing. Okay. I say no, uh-huh. but then she goes out and does it anyway. But uh, my whole question is, why would you say no though? Like, what's what's making you say no? That I'm just gonna sit there and release it to somebody else. That she, somebody that she, she had already. She's dying. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but this is somebody you left. Maybe he, hey, maybe you came he, to me, but now you want to go back over there. And maybe he again. slang that tang the way you don't. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. 
<laughs> That's what nah. Hell no. Definitely getting no. Why? So I'm like, she's a bot she's a bot tip. No, hold on, hold on. <laughs> go ahead. Why why are you see what 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 is is it gonna hurt you? Is, is it gonna hurt you? If she did it and then she dies, that means you literally can see the day you can move on. Literally. The doctor told you, yo, you're 90 days, you can move on from this. You can find yourself a new girl a couple months after that or years after that, right? You can find yourself a new poon. Just be, just let her do, <laughs> just let her do her shit. Nah, not doing it. So why though? Explain to me. I, I, I want to know exactly what, why in your head, why you, you say no. It's like, but it's like, yeah, it's like I said, if I, no, just like you said, she asked and I said no, but then she went and did it anyway. You okay, literally I, have no. I, get, I get you already saying no. Mm-hmm. What I'm saying is, why are you saying no? That's my, that's my question. Why are you saying no? Because why? Is, all right, so what am, what am I doing so wrong that you have to go back over there and go looking for that? I'm saying, what, what if, what, all right, so if, if some, all right, look at it this way, right? Mm-hmm. If you, if, if you're about to die and somebody was like, yo, what's your, what's your, what's your dying wish? But then there's this chick you've been wanting to smash, right? Your whole life. Okay. I want to smash, you never got the opportunity. But yeah, you're about to die. You might be able to set that shit up, all right? Make a wish. <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> Make a wish with a porn star, my boy, and 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 you get the opportunity. I'm, I'm that, that's not. I'm not making that request. You're not making that request. No. Nah. You're not getting your, getting your meat wet before you die. From my girl, yes, but not not from some <laughs> not from somebody outside. No, nah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> That's crazy. Hell what's, what's crazy about it? I just nah, I'm, I'm just, trying to figure. I'm trying to. I'm trying to figure it out. I'm trying to figure out what's so crazy about for it. For me to. For me to ask. For somebody my girl, for, from somebody else for as my dying wish. Experience for an experience before you die. That's you, that, you, to if, me. That's if, that's if mad. You were about to die, and you. And that's you, mad disrespect. If you're about to die, you had a chance to 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 to, to smash your favorite porn star. You wouldn't take it. No. You were different type of name. If I was single, that's different. Yeah. If you so, what if your girl was okay with it? Nah, I still like, wouldn't do have it. Anything. She's like, don't even I worry st- about I it. I still wouldn't do it. Why? I got too much character. I couldn't do that's that. Character. That's a character thing. I, right did, there? I, 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 can't, I can't stray. That. Nah, I can't stray. Sorry. That you're about that's, to die. That, that's that. how I'm built. I can't. Do but that. what if she says if she allows it's, it? That's still not doing it. No. Uh, I, got, I got way too much character to be sitting there straying like that. No, you can't carry your character with you after life, right? Oh well. But no, nah, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm gonna be remembered as that guy that that that, that never that never straight. <laughs> ain't about it. straight if they okay it, bro. No, nah. if you get a hall pass, no, that, that no, nah, I'm not, not doing straight. it. I'm not doing it. Nah, I'm, mm. I'm, I'm 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 too I'm too loyal. I'm loyal to a fault. That's a problem. So she so because of that, you wouldn't allow her to no to 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 get on me before she die. No, man. So what you, so what are you gonna do? You gonna just say no and stay with her? What? So if she if she goes and does it, I'm anyway? asking. Right, no, I'm so saying if she does it anyway. No, 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 no. Oh. Take that away. Now she she asked that question, mm-hmm. but you said no. Now that you know what she wants to do, you're still staying. If she does, if she won't do it, but even though she asked, you're still staying. If she only if she only has a few days left to live, why not? It's three months. Oh, now it's three months. It's ninety days. That's what I'm saying. Ninety days. So if she, she asked. So she you, asked I said no, and we just and we days. just and we just move off for that. Yeah, you, are you gonna stay? If she asks that question and you say no, and she doesn't fight it anymore, but yeah, she doesn't do it. I'm not, mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. She doesn't do it. But are you staying though? Yeah. Mm, but and that's not gonna be on your mind. No. Nah. No. No. Nah. Knowing that, knowing that, that's really what she wants to do. That won't bother you. No. Nah. Mm. Cause she gone. She about to be gone anywhere. That's what. I'm, <laughs> wait, bro. <laughs> bro, you make no sense, bro. That is <laughs> what, bro. So that's exactly what I'm saying about allowing her to do that because she's about to be gone anyway. I hear you. <laughs> yo, this guy, me, yo, man. I let her do that shit. I release you. Go do your thing, yo. You're about to die anyway. I don't give two fucks. But I ain't going to be around, though. 
Yeah. Okay, so <laughs> why 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 you do this? I play devil's advocate, man. <laughs> gotta 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 see see what he does. He asks me all these questions just to be where I'm at anyway. So no no no. Go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, me I, other than uh, unlike you, if she asks me that question, I release her egg also because he I know that's on your mind. So just go do it. You're released now. If you decide not to do it, that's on you. But you're released regardless. You know what I'm saying? The minute you ask me that question, I'll be like, yo, I'm good, yo. Great. I want you to do, I want you to experience any, everything you want to experience before you die. That's not with me. That's what I would tell her. But she already experienced that, though. Does they even want okay. to go back there? So that means that's an experience that she wants to re-experience. So go re-experience that experience. And then, yeah. And then let him take care of you or let somebody else take it. You got family. You don't need me around. We cool. This is where our paths, you know, separate. Yeah. We cool though, but for me, if she if she even if she even forms her lips, I mean, <laughs> but nah, if she if she if she even has the audacity, though, you know what I mean, to even ask me that, like, be like, oh, you, you're released, or well, do your thing. Why, why would I get in? Why would I get in your way? That's the way I look at it. Why would I get in your way when you're about to die? Mm -hmm. Come on now. I wish I would know how long they was together too before she even it doesn't asked even matter. Weird ass question. We're gonna be together for a year. Be together for six months if you have nine days to live and you tell me yo i want to smash it my my ex bro go do it why, why i'm not gonna stop you come on now you only have 90 days bro go go live it up go live it up smash everybody <laughs> just don't do it with me you know that's it yeah but I, if you if you even ask that question i release you because i'm not gonna get in the way of that like that's mm -hmm. to, to me i feel like I'm going to be stopping you from doing something you really want to. If that's the one thing you really want to do, there's absolutely no way I'm stopping you from that. No way. Couldn't do it. And that's how I feel about it, man. Let us know what you think. Yeah, th please. please. <laughs> you know, sometimes you got to play double advocate, man. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But sticking with relationships, though, there's, um, there's a man that, there's a woman, she said a man requested her money or his money back. He told he told her to Venmo him after a date because she wouldn't give him a second date. So they went on they went on a date and I guess for her it didn't go well. I guess for him it probably did. Mm -hmm. But she wasn't really feeling the second date. And she said I was in complete shock. It made it seem like the only reason he would offer to pay for my drinks was that he expected something from me. What are your thoughts, man? Um, Are you asking for your money back? Hell no, I'm not asking for my money back. Not, that's that's first of all, that's, that's bum behavior. It's just because she you got to be a bum. No, because she because she what she didn't like you. She wasn't feeling the date. So oh, I'm not supposed to just get my money back now. Nah, forget that. Why? It's a date. But why? I feel like as 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 man, we if we were gonna pay for the date, it's it's paid for. It's done. They we really, we're not. I'm not expecting nothing outside of that. It's literally you're not though. So if you you go. So if you go ask a girl, right? That's all right. If you go, if you talk to me to a girl right now, mm -hmm. and you're talking to her, and you ask her on a date, what are your expectations? What are you expecting from that? Um, After she says yes. Yeah, you have to well, you have to have some type of expectation. Well, well, that she shows up. Okay. That's number one. Because I mean, I've, I've already talked about it on here. I've been ghosted so many times, it's not even funny. Expectation so we need to one. get there. Just, just, just be there. That's right, number one. But okay, let's let's say she definitely won't show up. Okay. What are your expectations? Good conversation. Nah, I've, 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 nah, I've grown to not expect. A nah, lot. nah, 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 nah. We're not doing that. More. What? Are, what would be expectations if you go on first date? Mm -hmm. What are your expectations? Because you, you you're talking to somebody right now. So to me, is you go on the first date? What are your expectations? It just from that day. If you're gonna take the time out of your your day time out of your money out of your pocket mm -hmm. you're literally taking money out of your pocket there has to be some type of expectation for you to be able to, to be like oh here's my card just swipe that shit it's literally it's literally i need to be able to have a lot of things to talk about just have a good conversation that that's that's, that's, the only thing that's like that's like my main thing that's it nothing else this is good conversation and then you just go home and sleep fine knowing that there's no second date I mean, it, <laughs> oh no, the God, thing is, no, the God, thing God. is, I, 
Because if I go no, nah, if I because now if I expect the second date and I don't get it, I mean it's not. I mean, all right, will I be disappointed? Absolutely. But I'm not gonna be sitting there asking for my money back. Like, but I'm, no, 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 no. But she said, she said. That's what she said. She said it made it seem like the only reason he would offer to pay for my drinks was that he expected something from me. He's probably expecting something else. He's expecting a second date. He's expecting a second date, man. Okay. So you don't expect second dates when you go on the first? It depends on how it goes, honestly. No, 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 no. Before you go, there's, I feel everybody, you don't, you wouldn't, I wouldn't agree. Like, you know, a lot of people talk about wasting time and this and that. You don't, for us dudes, like some girls, they'll go agree to go on dates They'll take the free meal. Yeah, of course. A lot of girls do that, and that's cool. But even for those those dudes that don't know it, there's expectation. Like, yo, we, we, we could do this again. I can, I can get to know you better from this. There's that expectation. For me, for her to say that, it's kind of crazy because no dude is taking their time. Unless, like, I mean, unless you seen some dude at the bar and he bought you drinks and, and that situation. But if you're actually going to be like, Yo, let me take you on another date and then pay. Now, of course, there's an expectation. Now, he's crazy for asking for his money back because that's that's some nut shit. That's not no broke shit, but that's some nut shit. He might be just some nutty ass dude. Doesn't mean he's broke. But maybe that's he he felt some type of way. So emotionally he just he was like, Alright, this is how I'm gonna get you back. By being like, yo, send me my bread. That's mad petty. There's people out there that do that or worse. In situations, you know, it's just like a guy getting turned down and he calls the girl ugly after he gets mm-hmm. turned down. Same mm-hmm. type, same type of shit. But I think that's I think he's nutty, but at the same time, it's crazy for her to be like, "Oh, I think he only took me off for drink because he expected something from me." Of course, he fucking did, bro. What do you mean? That's just that's, that's got to be a dummy not to realize that shit. What the fuck? If your dude's taking you out, as far as he's expecting, at the very least, he's expecting to get to know you and then hopefully expecting to take take you out on a second date. Nah, he's nutty for, you know, asking for shit back after that didn't happen for him. Because sometimes you never know how the date's going to go. Mm-hmm. But at the same time, we all go. We we go on a first date hoping for a second. A lot of people, most people do that shit. Like, if you agree to actually go on a date with the person, you go on, you go there, both sides hoping. Like, all right, yo, this shit's cool. If it goes well, definitely going to get a second date. That's all it is. You know what I'm saying? You'd be lying to say, be like, yo, I, ain't gonna, I don't expect nothing. Nah. That's cap. That's like I said, I've been like I said, I've just my 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 luck hasn't been that great. So my my expectations are like really how's it, how hasn't it been though? Aren't you having great luck now? See, that was that's once and somebody else had to set that up. I'm talking about like that don't me matter. myself. But is I'm it not like, happening though? Yeah, you gotta let the past go, man. I let the past go, bro. What you do what you doing right now? Positive shit happening right now, right in life, right? Yeah. All right then. So why you why you still why you still on some, on the negative that happened in the past? <laughs> That's what I'm saying, bro. But yeah, like but yeah, nah. He he's bugged out for even doing that. Yeah, don't don't ask for it. I feel like the day is 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 more for the experience. That's that's what you're paying for. Hell nah. <laughs> I'm paying for the next date. I'm paying for you to stick around. That's, that's what we're paying for. I'm paying for y'all had a great time. Um, hope we could do this again. You never know. She could have been putting up a front like it was a good day, and then it just over time it was just like you know what? Yeah, nah, it was. It really wasn't for me. So that happens. It happens. I mean, I've 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 been the one that'd be like, yo, I paid I paid for the first, and they'd be like, oh, can we do this again? I'd be like, yeah, yeah, yeah we can. And then never, I never follow up. <laughs> you know That's what I'm like, saying. You never know what happens. Yeah, you know, I, I don't follow up. I I go home. I think about. It, I'm like, ah, nah, I'm cool. You know? Do you tell them or you just kind of just eh. just wait? You know, just <laughs> slowly stop talking to them. Slowly, you know, they get the point. I don't ghost them, but you know, just don't hit them up as much. You know, after a while, just the conversation slow down, and then boom, done. It's over. You know, that's not me anymore. That was the old me. Don't judge me. <laughs> Yo, if, 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 if there's if there's anybody that's out there that's honest. like that, that's like that. If you if you're just gonna stop talking to the person, don't message them like a month later, saying, "Oh, it and I'm now I wasn't feeling it." Trust me, we already got the hint. 
If it's been a month, don't even bother. Just keep that to yourself. No hit backs. <clears throat> don't come running back like a running back. <laughs> but we're gonna keep it on. We're gonna keep it on the um on the relationship mm-hmm. relationship chat, right? So uh I was on Twitter. Uh huh. Oh, I'm always on Twitter. I just realized I've spent I just checked my Instagram. I didn't even know you could do this on Instagram. I just found out you could check how how much how often you've been on for like a week. Mm-hmm. Been on Instagram for forty five minutes per day. That's how much I hate socials. But anyway. Um I was on Twitter and I seen Cardi B posted a posted a question. Mm-hmm. And she said if you met her if you met her in a strip club, you still cuff. Is the, is the picture. Oh. So you can get a better look. Oh, and she's working. Like, yeah, she's, yeah, she's dancing. Met her in the strip, bro. What is she talking about? Met her in the strip, you know? The, mm-hmm. the thickness. Right. The way she's looking right now. Mm-hmm. Would you cuff? No. Why not explain? Uh, so it's enough. It's no, it's no shade to the people that work there, but I, I'm not. Yo, shout out to the scrippers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, shout out to y'all. Y'all, y'all doing, y'all doing it. Y'all get y'all money and all that. I do it better than most. <laughs> but it's not for me. I'm not. I can't. No. No. Okay. Nah, nah. It's just because you. I already told you that's not my scene. I'm. Not, I'm not. I'm not in there like. That. All right. Yeah. It ain't gotta be your scene. You matter. You matter in there. You, let's say you were in there mm-hmm. with your people. Like we went to Atlanta. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean, mm-hmm. doesn't have to be your scene. But I'm saying though, what a, you met. You met the girl, and that was Cardi B. Nah. She, she not, she's not my speed. I'm sorry. No? Nah. You sure? I'm positive. I what? The, the, I don't know. It's just something about her. It's just that, nah. It's, it's she's not, she's not. She, you, said, you said her, yeah, right? Yeah, her, her. Yeah, no, nah, she's just not for me. So what is it? <laughs> I just, I'm just asking. Nah. I, don't, I can't, I can't like say exactly, but it's just like, it's just something say, about, it's, no, it's just something about her. It's just, it's just don't sit right with me so it's just, well, okay. she's what, not what she's not it's, it's just not, it's just her what is it i know you know what you're saying so just say it <laughs> like i don't understand like i, I don't get it i'm say it man i don't know what you, what you, what you nah, i'm just not she's is her it's just her what about like, her? This is, I, don't, I, I don't i don't get it explain for me and anybody listening what, what that even means i'm i'm not a fan of cardi b why I explain, just don't, I'm just I'm just up, not podcast, We're here to just explain man I, I'm just not Like I, It's just It's one of those Inexplicable Like I'm just not a fan of hers I'm not Okay I why would, though I would never Why though Nah It's, just, I, it's, it's something about her I, I, I'm guessing it's the attitude It gotta be the attitude I'm that's, just that's like I'm not I'm not like, Yeah I'm not That's what you scared to say <laughs> this guy <laughs> It's not being scared I'm just saying It's just something about her It's just, the, it's just it's, She's just not for me that's just what it is. All right, her attitude. That's probably that's probably, well, that's probably like the main thing. Yeah. But. And what else then? Because you say main thing. If you say main thing, that's the one thing. And what what else is behind that? Yeah. I'm gonna just stick with the attitude thing. We're just gonna do that's that, guy, man. What you holding back for, man? Hmm? What you holding back for? <laughs> She don't know you, yo. It's, 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 it's a podcast, man. No, I mean I hear you, but it's just I, I, it really doesn't it really doesn't like go much deeper than that. I'm just I'm just not a fan. Nah, yeah. well for me, I would uh not against Cardi, but I don't do scrippers, man. Um, y'all are cool. I enjoy the conversations. You know, times I've been, but I could, I could never be with a stripper. I know I feel like I know the behind the veil. What happens? Mm-hmm. No too much. Um, so I could never date one. But I mean y'all cool people though. I fuck with strippers, man. They 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 give some of the best banter there is. Mm-hmm. And they've seen a lot. They know a lot. I think they're um strippers are more of like for me it'll be more people to kick it with. Like if you just needed like some cool girlfriends to kick it with, strippers are the ones. They're very uh they're good at I feel like they're good at manipulation. So I don't know. Obviously, I don't know if I could take one real, real serious. Like if you, especially like if I was to even, I say if I was to even consider some shit like that, I would definitely want the one that could talk, and the ones that could talk are the best at manipulating, because mm-hmm. they have to be. It's their job to read people and be able to, you know, give them whatever fantasy that they're looking for. So, I couldn't do it. Um, and yeah, man, you know, a lot of them they be on something. So, 
I ain't really with the drugs and the, you know, again, too fucked up all the time. So, yeah, nah, that wouldn't be, that wouldn't be for me, man. And it's not just for her, just everything when it comes to, I wouldn't date a stripper. And I've always wondered, I'm like, what kind of headspace do they need to get into to be able to do what they do? A lot of them get fucked up. I'm telling you. That's I'm, from the conversations. I know, I, know, I, believe, I, know, I believe what you're saying. Cause. From the conversations I've had with them, that's, mm-hmm. that's what they, you know, they all, they, well, not all, my bad. Take that back. Mm-hmm. A lot of them, mm-hmm. especially the newer ones, if you see one that just got in, and you see them either drinking a lot before they start doing their thing or take some type of pills or something like that. It's to get, because it's, that's rough, bro. Like, you know yeah. what I mean? Don't, don't, don't your shit in somebody's face, a stranger's face, you know? It's just, that's not easy, bro. No, nah, hell no. That's why I respect it, you know? <laughs> I, I, I can't do it yeah, myself. I know I couldn't do it myself. But I, I respect mean, it, though. Y'all do y'all yeah, thing, you know? And I enjoy it. Mm-hmm. Or the banter. And they, I'm telling you, some of the best conversations I've ever had. Strippers, man. So, um. You took your key share for the people, just like a, there's a memorable conversation that you've had. Hell no. Nah. No, but they, <laughs> hell no. <nah. laughs> If you want to hear, go to the show, come and talk to me. <laughs> Hell, nah, I ain't, I ain't no, 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 Atlanta was cool, though. Um, I think our, our first our first night in Atlanta, we uh, ran into some, that, that night, it was it was a really nice strip club. I wish I remembered the name so I could give it to y'all, so y'all can visit. The Cheetah. So, yeah, they go to the Cheetah in Atlanta. Fire. Mm-hmm. Upscale trip strip club, cause you, so you're going to be spending. Yeah. But, yeah, it's real, real dope. I mean, we, met a, we met a couple of girls at the one girl, the one girl that I didn't have really, I had two, two cool conversations, but the one that was funny because she was some dude, she was dancing on some dude and he was like all up on her like, oh, I want to, I want to give you everything. I want to, <laughs> I want to wanna spend all my money on you, blah, blah, blah. I, I, I don't want you to be here. I want to rescue you. And he was doing all this extra shit. And I'm That's sitting crazy, next to him and I'm like peeping all this shit. So then I hit, I hit one of my boys. I think I hit Nick. I was like, yo, some crazy shit happening next to me. And she peeped that I was looking. She looked at me and she starts smiling. Because every time that he, w- he would like say something to her in her ear, he was whispering in her ear and shit, but I would hear it. <laughs> every time he whispers some shit, like she'll, she'll smile. That's why y'all, y'all the best though. She'll smile. <laughs> and then as soon as she turned around, her face would just go back to being normal. Like the, the, the act is so crazy. That's yeah. why I'm like, this guy couldn't do it, man. <laughs> I seen, I seen, I, I'm telling you, I've seen behind like, the veil so it's like it's hard for me i already know like they're good at pretending they're like actors bro mm-hmm. actresses my bad actresses so and they're really good at it. some of them are i'm telling you extremely extremely good at that like reading people there's some there's some of the best people at reading people they, they could tell you like look at people and be like yeah this person this and that blah, 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 mm-hmm. and all that shit so yeah and the ones that you know when they when they talk to you they could tell you cool they don't even bother making you spend money bro they just chat it up with you the whole time right so, yeah yeah yeah, I always appreciate that because I be I be trying to kick it with the game and shit. I enjoy yeah. the conversations more than. Yeah, I didn't I didn't know how to move that night, and one girl got me for almost two hundred. I was good on that. <laughs> Look at you, talk to mad girls, and you spend two hundred on one girl. This guy's crazy. <laughs> I had to turn I had to turn away like five or six after that too because you they they, they they yo they see one yo everybody's coming over trying to get like, you after that. Spent like eighty dollars, and I talked to like five girls that night. Shh, come on now. Got a couple of lappies too. I might have to cut that out. <laughs> nah, just, <laughs> nah, just kidding, you. But yeah, it's on, he's out there. But yeah, no. As, but like I said, as the weekend went on, I figured out how to move around, so I was good. But yeah, that that, that was an experience. I was like, all right, I, I know, I know what not to do now. <laughs> so so now, if you go, you go back, you know what to do, you know what what to do. Yeah. Mm, yo, you just gotta be, gotta be stern, and you gotta be picky. That's I'm telling y'all. A lot of people go in there, they just allow any girl to talk to them. Oh, you gotta know what body type you like that you're going in there. If it, Treat the strip club, what I'll say, this is my best advice. Treat the strip club as a fantasy place. Don't treat it as if, like, don't talk to any girl you see on the street that you can easily talk to. Talk to the girls where it'd be like, oh, I ain't seen no chick like down the street on a regular. Mm-hmm. And if you do, you might see her with a, with a dude. Of course, yeah. That, those that's what you have to treat it as don't be like oh i came in here like the girl you beat off to porn to is not the one you should be talking to a strip club mm-hmm. i'll be honest talk to the one that's like damn yo shit <laughs> where the fuck you be at those, <laughs> those are the ones you want to talk to you know 
Yeah, man. Yeah, because yeah, but last night I, I I had mad money left over, so I was like, yeah. it's a fantasy place. It's not a place for just like, yeah. That's what the whole point of it is. It's supposed to be on some fantasy shit, right? Yeah. They playing the game is a game of cat and mouse. They trying to take as much cheese from you, and you trying to keep the most cheese. And get the most out of them. Yeah, that first night, all my cheese was gone. all my cheese was gone. Yeah, man. <laughs> I barely, I barely spent cheese, man. I had a great time. All them nights, every night. Mm-hmm. Got to be stirring, man, or else they're gonna run you for your bread. That's how. It, that's how it is out there. Fact. Um. Oh, so we got a crazy question, man. Actually, no, we will do the fan question first. Okay. So we had a fan fan question. You know, people watch. You know, they enjoy. They 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 hit me. They be like, yo, da 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 da. So they were like, "Yo, ask your boy, man." Uh oh. So that the higher, the higher, higher self, they they want to follow up. Oh my god! <laughs> they say, they say, they said, "What have you? What what have you? What have you been doing to um, to, to get to that today? To get to the, your higher self?" So say it's been a, it's been a while. Yeah, I know. So I've actually so I know. I remember what I said was I wanted to kind of be like that guy where it's like I step in the room and I'm able to just attract whoever and be like hey you know he's there so everybody just recognizes me mm-hmm. trying to step out of my show little by little i'm doing that like I'll, I'll talk to somebody here i'll talk to somebody there i used to not be able to do that but now i'm doing that a little bit more so that's kind of what i've been doing to try to get to where i want to where my higher self is you know what i'm saying um it's little by little but we're getting there so has that been working yeah, somewhere, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm. Are you feel you coming more out of your shell? Yeah, a little bit, yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. I mean, if you, if you ain't got nothing else to elaborate on. No. Man, it's, it's a fan question I had to yeah. ask, man. Anything else? Was it the same person that asked that question before? No. I know. Oh, somebody different. No, I said it's somebody different, actually. Hmm. Yeah. But yeah, that, that's what I've been doing. So... Because usually I'm I'm very shy, so it's like if I'm out there, I'm not I'm not out there trying to like reach out to nobody. I'm just kind of just to myself. I do my thing, and I keep it moving. But now, like now, just you know, hey, how you doing? I introduce myself, they have a little quick conversation, then I keep it moving. Mm. But heard you, heard you. But so the next step will be to actually be able to drag that conversation out even longer. So, but yeah. That's what you gotta do, man. Yeah, Tell you, talk oh, to yeah. little by little. Talk to everybody, man. Make new friends everywhere. Um, but then we'll, we'll go into uh, the other question I had, which was um, this one. This one could go a little deep, but uh, would, would you want to live forever? Um, yo, honestly, with the world we live in, hell no. I I do not want to live forever. I'm good on that. I, I I think I've seen. More than enough in life where I'm just like, you know what? Nah. I, when my time is up, I'm I'm cool with that. I do not have any business in living any longer than I need to. I'm good. So oh, so you think you think you think you can um anything so last episode you said you're 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 um you're open to a lot, right? Mm-hmm. So you think you've done enough to just be like, yo, you good in this life? In this life, yes. I'm you yeah. <laughs> nah, the thing, nah, the thing is, <laughs> what, bro? <laughs> Please explain, guy. The floor is yours, man. No. I need to hear this shit. Nah, the thing, because it's just, I'm like I said, it, the way my life has been, <sighs> it's, it's it's been it's been a lot, and I'm kind of just like I'm over it. So, bro, I honestly, anything act that happens now is just extras, whatever. But I have no business. Live it any longer than I need to. So when well, my time is up, but you have, but you you're young though. You have like mad time to change it. You know what I'm saying? Like like literally, you have so much time. I mean, life is short, but at the same time, years are long, days are long, the months are long, all of that. You have time to change whatever has happened. So you you hold on to a lot of the shit that happened in your past. You have a lot. You have time to change anything going forward though. That's, that is literally in your control. So you think it's just like the way you look at it is just what everything after now is just extra. For me right now, yeah. Mm. I mean, is there is there room for like growth and all that? Of course, but 
I don't know. Maybe maybe it's just on me. Maybe I need to make more of an effort to do more. You know what I'm saying? So, but like so I said, have you made the effort? That's what I'm, that's what I'm saying. It's like if you if you if you if you already like just give, basically giving up on it, like I right, or whatever happens happens. Isn't that all on you though? Like like this life is all about life's about all about choices, man. Mm-hmm. So you're you're just choosing to just be like ah fuck it. Uh, yeah, it's, it seems like it seems like it's gotten to that point, and that's not it's not good coming from me. Like I have, I feel, I feel like I have more to offer, but I'm not. I haven't realized it yet. You know what I'm so saying? So you're not willing to offer. <laughs> <laughs> what, yo, <laughs> bro? So you you feel you have more to offer, but you're yeah. unwilling to offer it because of anything that's happened in the past. It's, it's basically what I'm getting. Yeah, yeah. But why though? Uh, good question. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, not bad, so, man. God. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's just been it's been things that's happened to me over the years. It's just kind of like caused me to like sh- shut certain things down about myself, and it, not it's, it's always it's always been like that for me, and I, I, that's something that. I definitely need to work on, but it's like if something that I I planned on doing it doesn't go my way, I kind of just like you know what, whatever, and I kind of just move on from it. I don't even like try to think about it anymore. But it seems like you are thinking about it though. It seems like anything that's happened to you in the past, you, you it's it, it, it stuck on you. But I yeah, I try to avoid going back to it, so I don't have to end up going through that again. You know what I'm saying? I got you, but then wouldn't that lead to you doing? making different decisions and trying to make it better going forward. You would, yeah, you would think it would be like that. Or what I was just trying to do is just try to avoid it altogether. So I don't give myself the opportunity to make that same mistake again. Yeah. But if it's the way you should be taking it is learning experiences instead of just looking at them completely negative, be like, I, right, yo, I learned from this. I'm even, if that happens again, fuck it. I already know what to do. It's like literally, it's like going playing a video game, dying a couple of times, and being like, ah, yo, I know exactly what to do when I get here. Mm-hmm. That's exactly how life is, bro. For me, I would, I would definitely, depending, right? Depending, I feel like I, w- I don't have enough time to do everything I would want. So, like, to experience, like, I would love to experience fucking everything. Mm-hmm. And I think it would take a couple of lifetimes to do that. Mm -hmm. If I had that chance now, if I was, if I was able to stay young or like at my peak, if I was able to be at my peak. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. And I know that I know some people listening probably be like, yeah, I wouldn't because you know, the people that die, you know, the people that you love will die and they'll grow old and Mm -hmm. they'll die around you, blah, blah, blah. In that way, I completely understand. But for me, I would, I would say, over the years, you'd probably learn to detach yourself from, from you know, like once like the first group of people rolled and they pass away. I feel like you will know not to, that's life lessons. You will know not to attach yourself to people. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But me, I did experiences. I feel like I would love to experience everything, man. That's just how I'm, I'm my personality is how I'm built. Mm-hmm. Like I would love to experience everything, things that, you know, different cultures and everything like that. So I don't think I would, I'll be able to experience all that. In my lifetime, I hope so. Mm-hmm. I can experience majority of it. Um, I would love to be able to be comfortable enough to travel anywhere and everywhere. Like if I, well, if I won the lottery, that's all. I would, literally, I would do. Mm-hmm. Backpack, I'm traveling everywhere. Um, so I feel like living forever. Saying, think about it now. I would if I only if I could stay at my peak. Now, if I got older, and then it's just like you're just living. Yeah, you're old as fuck. Fuck no. Yeah. Like, like, take me out. I wouldn't, you know, because it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be as enjoyable. It wouldn't be the same. But if I could stay on my peak, I absolutely, I think I absolutely would. Just at least, I would, I would just love to experience it. And I would love to, like, just thinking about what could happen, you know, let's say after you die. Like, life goes on no matter what. Mm-hmm. With you, without you, is the same as, like, your job is, like, 
if you get fired, your job still keeps going. Yeah, bro. And that's how life is. You're gonna keep going. I'm I have the I'm I'm very interested to see what the world will look like for my kids and like for my grandkids. And like I like I, I think about shit like that, be like, damn, yo, like let's think about we had fucking Nokia's when we was kids. Yeah. Now I have a foldable phone. And this is only what, like a twenty year gap? Yeah. You know? Uh vinyls to having Bluetooth and shit like that, like self driving cars. What's another what's gonna be another you know when you, another hundred years? What's it gonna really look like? Like that shit like that? Fuck I would love to like I'd love to see that shit. Experience that shit. Like you know what what inventions are they gonna come up with next and shit like that? I absolutely would love to like experience it because I would love to see mm-hmm. all that shit. But no, just me though. I love experiences. So, so I, feel, I feel like if I in the afterlife, if I if I'm given like a crystal ball to be able to see that, I think I'm good with that. I don't think I need to be in that. But what if there's no afterlife? I think I think I'm better. I think I'll be better off not knowing. I'm cool. I'll, I'll let I'll let whoever's here experience that. I don't I don't even know what's going on. Man, I would I would love to experience that shit, man. Flying cars and all that shit. If we get you to brought, that point. but you brought up very something interesting. So you said something about being able to have to like detach yourself if you had that opportunity. You would have to, bro. I don't think I could do that. You could. Nah, you I don't have think to. so. People people around people around you die. As you grow older, that's what happens. I mean, I hear what you're saying, but. Yeah. So as you grow older, that's naturally what happens. You've, I'm sure you lost people in your life. Yeah. Okay. So as you grow older, that's naturally what happens. So what's different? There's been, there, there are people that I have like a special attachment to where even after they pass, I still have them on my mind. Yeah. Time, time, time makes all that less. That is what, that's the one thing about time is very undeniable, bro. Whatever, whatever feeling, whatever feeling you felt the first time, a year later, there's no way you're feeling that same way. That same exact way. If if you lost somebody right now, a year later, that 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 moment when you lost somebody, you're not feeling that. Impossible. Ah, uh, because, because you can't relive that, bro. I, I disagree respectfully. That's impossible. Nah. I'm telling you right now, that's impossible. You can't. You can't. That it, it might still hurt, but that same way you felt. At that very moment. And if let's say now five years pass, ten years pass, you've you've gone through different different stages of your life, that pain is not the same, bro. If it weren't for that, a lot of people would literally be ending and they lose their parents and boom. A lot of people would just be like, fuck it. It, it is what it is. I'm telling you, that that pain, no matter no matter what. Like I've I've seen people when they've lost somebody and I've been around, I've I've, you know, been in a relationship where the person lost somebody that's the the dearest person to them. And they're like, yo, I don't know how I'm gonna get past this. I talk to them today. Oh, it hurts, but they had to keep living life, man. Life, life still goes on, bro. Oh no, you don't. You never move on from it. You just had to learn how to live with it. That's yeah, the thing. You, that's and that's what I'm telling you. You learn. To, you learn to live with it, so that feeling is never the same. Now, if you, if that feeling was the same, that would literally be the only thing on your mind every single day. That pain. My bad. Nah, I don't. It's impossible, bro. Cause you have, you still have to go through your day by day, and you still got to go through your life. So, like at that moment, that pain is the only thing you you know. That pain is the only thing that you think about. But if you keep living your life and think about other shit, let's say you grow up, you have kids, this and that, relationships, bro, that pain gets less. That's just natural. That's not natural, bro. You can't you can't. There's no way to deny that. I mean, I feel like there's something that could trigger that though, and you just end up right back to where it was the like that day when it happened. Something could trigger it, but even then, you still won't feel the same. That it won't be the same, bro. It's not the same emotion. Yeah. That, that's I, I disagree. That, that that but that's just for me though. I I, could, I I can't speak for nobody. Like I only speak for me. That's just what it is. So. All right, I'm 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 just telling you, bro. If, if if somebody died in your arms right now, and and twenty years pass, do, do, when, even if you even if you think about it, even if you talk about it, it might hurt. But the way you felt with them in your arms. Bro, there's no way you can you can ever like in your mind you might think you could relive you can't, bro. That that pain is it would not be the same. The intensity of that moment, you can never you'll never get that back. That is just in that moment, how intense it was. You might shed a tear or two and shit, or cry. Even if you cried all night, it still wouldn't be as painful as that one moment right there. 
There's no way because you just went through with your life. Unless you, unless that's you, you just sat in your room and just thought about that every day for the last twenty years. There's no fucking way, bro. We're we're human beings. We comp, we we, we what, 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 what's the word? Uh, we put everything like we'll com- compartmentalize everything. Literally, that's what we do. And as time passes, that's what literally you do. You push it back, push it back, push it back, push it back, so that there's no way that pain's the same, bro. It's just facts. Okay. You know what I'm saying? No, nah, I hear I, I hear what you're saying. Yeah, man. I disagree, but I hear what you're saying. I'm not I'm not I'm not gonna i I'm, I'm not gonna I'm not arguing, I'm not doing So any anything. any pain any pain you've been through in your life, if you thought about it right now, you think you could you relive relive that same exact pain? Like like that what like that day when I found out what I found out? Yeah. Right, the same same pain. Yeah. Hell no. With the same intensity, bro? Impossible, bro. We're not be- nobody's built like that, bro. Nobody's built like that. Too much time has passed. I'm telling you, time, when they say time heals all, literally, it does that because we put everything in, in, in certain sections in our mind, bro. If, it, if, if that was the case, it would cripple you. It would cripple you. You wouldn't, you wouldn't be able to do anything else. If, that, if, that was, if that's the case, you literally, if, if, you, if you thought about that shit, you wouldn't be able to do anything else throughout, like, for the next fucking year or two. That would just be the only thing. <laughs> because if you if you can think think about it this way, mm-hmm. if whatever pain it is, right, the, the, the worst pain you've ever been through, mm-hmm. if you think about it right now, right, at that time, you probably couldn't eat, you couldn't sleep, none of that shit. But if you think about it today, guess what? You're going to go to sleep and wake up tomorrow and go to work. It's not the same pain, dog. Uh, maybe. I mean, when that thing happened, I literally did go to work the next day. I had to have my blockers up. Everybody had to see if I was if I was good. I'm, I had to put on a strong face. I'm like, yeah, I mean, I guess I'll be fine. But the same, man. Just, I, but that, that that's just me. Yeah. I guess, yeah. But like I was saying, I wouldn't when it comes to like living forever. I, I mean, you know. I want to experience it, man. But you know what I mean? I know that's not realistic, so I wouldn't want to. And and I wouldn't, I wouldn't even want to like take that. Like, let's say, you know, I had kids and shit like that. Like it'd be cool to, 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 to kick it with your grandkids and shit. I think if you live forever, you kick it with your grandkids and all that shit. I, I think there's a movie like that out there. Mm-hmm. Motherfuckers that spend time with their, their kids, their grandkids, and they never died and shit. If anybody remembers, let me know, put it in the comments. <laughs> But yeah, man, that, 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 um, for me, it would be great to experience and to see what happens. Cause I know anybody that's lived through like anybody that's like a hundred or even 90, mm-hmm. you, they've seen mad shit. Yeah. They've experienced mad shit. The world has completely changed from horse and buggies to, you know, what we're doing right now. So for me, it would be like, Oh, what the fuck would be next yeah. for, in a hundred years, 200 years, you know, we, we have blown ourselves up. I would love to see that. You know, could easily blown ourselves up in the next 200 easily with all the weapons we got and they only keep getting better. So, yeah, man, I, I would definitely love to see it. Definitely. You know, whether it's afterlife or not, I don't want to be watching it. I'd rather be in it. I'm one of them. I need to be in it. Mm-hmm. I can't be looking at it from the outside. I can't. Um, I don't, I don't, I don't have a, I know what that like, like FOMO and shit. I don't have FOMO. If I miss some shit, it's cool. But if there's an opportunity for me to go, I'm definitely in that bitch. Mm-hmm. I mean, I don't. I don't have no fear of missing out on shit. Mm-hmm. If anybody didn't know what for a moment, yeah, is a fear of missing out. Yeah, yeah. And I don't have a fear of missing out. But if I have the opportunity to be there, with it though, mm-hmm. if I miss it, it is what it is. I mean, clearly, I know I'm gonna die, but <coughs> while I'm here, I'm gonna experience the most out of everything I can because mm-hmm. that's just how I'm. That's just how I'm built, though. I'm built for the experience. Should be the episode now. Yeah. <laughs> I'm built for the experience. That's, yeah. that's good. That's good. Be a picture of Shakari. I think that's yeah, good. yeah. Perfect. Come on now. I do this on the fly. I do this every time. <laughs> but yeah, now, nah, um, yeah, now nah, I mean, I mean, would it would it be cool to be able to like do that? Absolutely. But I don't. I don't need it. That's just what it. For me, I don't need it. Yeah, it's not a need, yeah. but it's something that it would be like if you had that. If I if I had the choice, if they gave me a choice. And I, I would just, first question would be like, can I stay at my peak or am yeah. I going to grow old? 
So it, it, it would depend on that. Yeah. yeah. If I'm going to grow old, I don't want to grow old. And like, if, if I, no. No, I don't need that. Hell no. That, that, that's, that's an absolute no. But if, if then I'm one of those people, like I, I always said, if, if, I, if, I'm, if I'm like 88, can't move, I'm shitting on myself, yo, just kill me, bro. That ass. I don't need to be living. Right. If I can't do shit on my own, I'm cool. You can just take me out. I'll be fine. We, 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 can, we can all just grieve, move on. If, if I'm too old and I can't do nothing for myself, I'm, I'm good on that. So Right, yeah. I, that, that's, how, that's my outlook on it. But if I have the opportunity to be at my peak, or mm-hmm. not even at my peak, if I was like, let's say, boom, stay at 50 years old, I'm cool. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and just live that for the rest of your life until the world explodes and there's nothing left, I'm cool with that. Right. I'll, do, I'll do that shit. Okay. I fucking roam this bitch. <laughs> I'd be in every country, man. I, I wouldn't form no attachments. That's what I would do. After, after the people I love all pass away, after that, boom. Stone cold. No attachments, bro. I'm telling you. I'd be I, like, could, I couldn't do that. I'd be like a nomad out here. In these <laughs> telling you, moving from, from place to place. I mean, that'd be cool, man. Yeah, that'd be that. I couldn't do that. I, that. That whole moving place to place, I can't do that. Like, I like having I like having roots. I like having... Man, if you if you knew you were gonna live forever, you think you you making roots? Hell no, bro. I ain't making roots nowhere. <laughs> if I'm gonna live forever, like mm-hmm. why would why would I stay in any place? Like you, you could I might maybe I'll spend a couple months here, a year here. But hell no, man. For me, a year would be my max anywhere. <laughs> until until I've literally seen like touch every I would my whole goal would be just to like literally touch every mm-hmm. inch of this planet. Pause. Sounds crazy. <laughs> but that would be my goal, though. To, to put my feet on every inch of this planet. Mm-hmm. That would be my goal. Antarctica, all that shit. South Pole, I'm telling you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hell yeah, man. I experienced it all. I'd be the only guy. <laughs> the only person to I just have done it all. Fuck it. And then, of course, there'll be more shit to do. You know, as the years go by, there'll be more new shit going on. Mm-hmm. But yeah, man, if I could live forever and shit, hell yeah. I'm excited if I ended up living, if I ended up choosing to live forever, and then we end up getting some kind of like disaster that just wipes out the earth. So I was like, "What was the point?" I'll be cool with that. <laughs> I'll be cool with that, man. Because I'm, I'm, you know, that's why I said I'm, I'm like, like a Roman until something happens. That's cool. I'll be fine with me. Just want to experience it, you know. <laughs> and I, even that, I would want to experience it. <laughs> yeah. Love the experiences, man. Oh, I live, I live for I live for the experiences in life. That's what I. That's I don't know. That's in my personality. Yeah, I just live for the experiences. Are we gonna have yours now? No, you got the world championships, man. There, oh, there is something I wanted to ask with that. So I was just thinking about it today. So, um, you know, LSU, LSU has a like a major like presence at these world championships. You know, we got Shakari Richardson. Uh, the do uh, the pole vaulter uh, Mondo, like they all of them with the LSU. You know they be interacting and stuff like high that. Jumper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, I was thinking about it. I was like, you know, one of my greatest regrets in life was actually not being able to like experience like college life. Like I feel like there was there was a point, like in high school, I had like a whole game plan, and that all got thrown off when I had to transfer. So. I was like, damn, if I would have been able to just stay at Whitehall and just do what I had planned, like, I don't, I, I, I probably wouldn't even be here. I'm not even going to lie. Like, I was, I had a whole plan. I was like, I was just going to go to, like, some big, big ass school, you know, enjoy my college life for, like, four years, you know, build relationships, do all that, being able to say, like, I'm an alum, you know what I'm saying? To be able to, like, go back and have connections with, like, certain people that went to these schools. So that was that yeah that was that was gonna be my question. So it's like, is there anything in your life where it's like, damn, I wish I could have had that over, so something would be different now. Um, redo? Nah, I don't think so, man. That's the one thing. Like I, you know, I, I was coming off that question with living forever. If I look back, if I had a chance to redo it, I don't think I would, man. Or like do it differently. Mm-hmm. If I knew the same, if I was walking this, the path and I was walking it the exact same way, and I had choices to mm-hmm. to do to do them differently, I don't think I would. Because I I enjoy like where I'm at right now. It was because of all those decisions. Mm-hmm. If I would have strayed in any different way, I felt like 
I would uh I'd be I'd be a different place completely. So nah man. You know what I mean? It's just I like who I am now, so I don't I don't think I would. I don't, I don't even like the college I, I hear you on the college shit too. Yeah. But even that, you know what I mean, still an alum, bro. We still graduated. Shit. Still an alum regardless. So am I, so um and I still I lived it through my brother, so I think I'm cool on that one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he, he went to a big college, so you know what I mean. I was always there, so yeah, yeah. For me, it's yeah. I, I hear you, but then I think about the debt. <laughs> I'm, I'm cool. I'm cool on it, man. I'm cool. A lot of people live with that debt their whole lives, mm-hmm. so that I don't. I wouldn't really. I'm cool. It would be nice, but I'm cool though. You know what I mean? I still get to enjoy the games, like the college game. Yo, shout out to my boy. I'm yeah, about yeah. To go to the game. Shout out to Nick Singleton. Make sure y'all watching Penn State, man. My boy's about to kill it this year. Like I said last episode, mm-hmm. but yeah, nah, I, I don't think I would do anything differently, yo. If I if I had to, if I could go back, I don't think so. Cause if I did, I'm telling you, my life I already, I thought about that, mm-hmm. and my life would be completely different. And it, and it, and it, at one time when I did think that, it, damn, if I had to redo, I would do this differently and that, that differently, and maybe take away some things that that hurt me. And then I think about, it, I'm like, fuck no, nah. I wouldn't, absolutely not, because I wouldn't be here. Yo. And then if, and then the things that, is there's so many lessons learned along, le- learned along the way that I wouldn't even, like having to learn those things as an adult, mm-hmm. like like let's say a heartbreak or anything like that that happened to me early on, them happening to me now, I wouldn't know how to handle it. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I really, really wouldn't do nothing differently. I don't think so. No, I'm cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That that was my main. I lived thing. in the, I lived in the best way I could, you know. Mm-hmm. So far, yeah, because yeah, because yeah, me, I just feel like I missed out on so much, just but because just because I didn't no, just because I didn't fight for what I wanted back then. But you got time to fight now. Exactly. I mean, I get that, but you don't get it. There was, well, the minute you say "but," you don't get. It. But go ahead though. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, bro, I feel like if I would have did it back then, I would have gotten more. Th- I, w- I would have more of an idea of what I would have wanted out of life if I would have just fought for what I wanted back then. So what's stopping you now, though? The, I, the, I have no idea. I'm just wandering aimlessly right now. <laughs> That's just what it is. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to give myself direction, though. Don't, like, don't, get, don't get me wrong. I'm trying to give myself direction, but it just feels like I've just been going through the motions. And uh, I, but I, now I'm, I'm trying to wander away from that. Like, I'm actually trying to give myself some sense of direction now. Okay. Yeah. I mean, that's good, though. As you should, man. As you should. It's important, bro. Like, you got to take, take it. Like, it's like you're riding the horse of life. Pause. You gotta take the, you know I mean, take the reins, man. It's your life, bro. That's all I'm saying. You gotta do something with it, yeah, you know? Man. Yeah. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, we're about to go into Have You Heards. Just, uh, for anybody that's new that's listening, we're just gonna run through some some things you might not have heard of that we've seen, mm-hmm. we've seen out there, uh, just so we're not here talking to y'all for 12 hours. So we're just gonna run through these real quick. Mm-hmm. Um, first one we got for you is uh, Maya Angelou is the first black woman on the quarter, on the U.S. quarter. You know, I know U.S. money is uh, dying everywhere around the world and shit. <laughs> so, shout out to Maya Angelou. Make sure y'all cop y'all uh, Maya Angelou quarters. I think they released them in 2022. So, you know, if you if you catch one out there, make sure you keep it, keep sake, you know, things like that. I feel like I think I read that they're going to release more. They're going to put more women on mm-hmm. on the back of the quarter so make sure you keep an eye out for that but if you do run into a my angelou quarter i know a lot of people a lot of y'all don't carry cash but if you happen to make sure you pay attention to the quarters and and catch one of those it might be worth something one day man i seen somebody has it online for 700 which is crazy mm-hmm. but somebody might buy it though of course you know somebody will um and i want to give a shout out to all my dads out there man come on man Yo, no, listen. They call y'all pieces of shits. They say y'all not there for y'all kids. You just find signs just told us it's a lie. Mm-hmm. The women are lying. They said they said millennial dads were spending more time with our kids than any generation before. 
more time. They said dudes are dudes are talking about they they change the diapers, they do more household chores, they help out around. Shout out to y'all, man. Yeah. Shout out to all the guys, man. And it's crazy because that's what we see. You know, mm-hmm. you can be online and it could be like, oh, you see the videos of the girls being like, oh my 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 baby daddy ain't shit, blah blah blah. All our friends, we, we, we don't we don't know we don't know those guys. When you actually go outside for real, and you see kids with dudes with with kids, it's not what it is online, and the science proves it. As a lot of us are actually, I can't say us. I ain't got no kids myself, but a lot of you guys are taking care of your children, being at home. I always say that, yo. One of my this is one of my flexes. All my all my all my guys, they're always in their kids' lives. All of them. Oh, so, um, just gonna say, yo. Keep doing y'all thing, all the fathers. Shout out to y'all. You know whether you get enough credit or not. But of course there's some deadbeats out here. We just don't know any. <laughs> nope. Nah, so not not a one. I can't speak for one. You saw my friends just had their kid, actually. Look at the, oh yeah, you show me. Guy. Yeah. <laughs> but yo, keep doing y'all thing, man. All the fathers out there. Yeah. Keep doing y'all thing. Keep spending more time. We're trying to find a balance. Our generation is all about balancing it out. Yep. You know, work life balance. I don't do too much overtime because I want to balance it out. When I have kids, I'm gonna try to do the same thing. Uh, you know. So keep doing your thing, fellas. And then we got uh oh yeah, let's go on. We got <laughs> talking about uh relationship type shit. Uh Marcus Jordan is marrying Larsa Pippen, man. That, that that's hilarious. You know what that is? That needs the the wah wah. What you what you think, man? I need to I need to know what your thoughts are on this. And what this why? I, I like I don't understand it. Like I don't get it. Like oh boy, I don't I don't think there's any possible way this dude really loves this girl. Like I really why you don't, don't think that? I just it, it's so like it's so messy, it's sloppy. Just the That's whole thing is weird. Like her, like her herself, like she just she's all over the place. You wouldn't hit? No. Why? No, knowing what I know about her, no. Uh, if you have bread, you win it. No, why? Just because I just because I know about her and know of her, no, I wouldn't do it. Why? There's a lot of there's a lot of girls that be out here doing anything. She lived, but I don't know about them though. See what I'm saying? I was like, I know who I know who she is. What I know is she, who what she's been she around. I know who she's been around. What? I already, I already, I'm not her type, so I, I don't gotta worry about that. And minus all that, minus all that. If if you if, no, why? It's because she can slept with a couple dudes. No, it's not. It's not the fact that it's not that she did that. That she's real flagrant about it. That she like she don't care. <laughs> how, how does she care? She's just living her life. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and, and for, for everybody else to know about. I I'm mean, good. I don't, if she's, not, if not, she's I don't, date, if she's dating people, it's her choice to be like. I don't think she's flaunting it. She's outside with them. You know, so I was some. If you're rich, <laughs> wait, hold on. <laughs> no, I'll go ahead. If you're rich mm-hmm. and you're and you're dating people and you're seen with them, that's flaunting. It's not like it's not like she has a different dude every week. Like, how many dudes have you known her to be with? Who was right, it? Like four. Miss Future. Uh, There's girls out here that's that's Malik Beasley. That's our age with with fifty more than her. You exa- whatever you think about her, you exaggerating it in your mind. I'm not. When, how, how am I exaggerating it? How many, she was how literally. She was literally. How many dudes? She dated a guy that ended up being teammates with her child. Okay, what's wrong with that? She's not allowed to date now. So you, you put just not no. So the, no, the, it's not. It's not that she's not allowed to date. It's, she's not considering the people around her when she's doing what she's doing. What do you mean? If he, how did she my, know? My she, son is her kid. How did she know that they, that dude was gonna end up being teammates with her son? She can't predict that. But it's it's this the joke. No, nah, but how uh, it, it don't how could she how could she have predicted that though? That's all I'm saying. That's uh, that literally how could she have predicted that? I was not. It's nothing to predict. If there's an opportunity. They're in the they're in the league together. They, yeah. they, 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 Wait, there's so a she, chance. There's so a chance. They nobody in the league. <laughs> Guys, are not yo. <laughs> Yo, she can't predict that. There's the, the chance. Look at the, look how many people in the league that never get to play together. Like, come on now. There's always that chance, and then look what happened. Like so, I say, so, it's just so, a, it's just a bad look. You're just saying so she should just not date anybody in the league. Is what you're trying to say? That's that's her son's space. Don't don't dip. 
Don't dip into your son's face. Let him have that. Go somewhere else with that. All right. So you, so you wouldn't. I'm not doing it, no, because of the five guys that she's dated. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not dating that. No. I'm Ain't nobody say you're dating. I said when you smash. No, not doing that either. <laughs> because of the five guys you dated. <laughs> Yo, it's <'cause> because I. <laughs> All right, I got you, man. I, I can't have. I, I can't. I can't. I, I can't have boundaries. No. Oh, so that that would, what would be your boundaries for a regular girl then? If she if that's if five bodies, <laughs> it's not it's not about the bodies, bro. I just said this. It's not about the bodies. No, it's no, no it's the way. A, no, it's the way she's carrying on. That's, that's what I'm saying. Smashing. All right. So I'm just saying smashing, and nobody needs to know. Actually, would you smash? No, you said no, no. Okay, and it's just what because the way she carries on about her her visible relationships. No, it's how she like I said, it's how she does. But I'm good on that. No, I don't need. I don't. Is who's to say that that's gonna stay quiet? You know what I'm saying? I'm good. No. So me, me, I'm very, I'm very private about mine. Mm. She can't be trusted to keep that private. I'm not taking that chance. Just smash it. No, no, I'm not doing it. Just because it won't, it'll be public. Yeah, I don't need, I don't need my business out there. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, there's there's certain there's seen. certain things I'm very private uh, about. That's one of them. This whole thing with um with Jordan and with uh Jordan Jr. and Larsa. I think uh, I don't think I don't think there's nothing wrong with her, but she just living life. But I think there's something wrong with him. Something wrong with that boy, man. At first, I was looking at this, I was like, oh, you know, he's doing it for dad. You know, you gotta Pippen been hating. He been hating on dad. Now you gotta get him back. Now imagine Michael Jordan one up this this dude every time. It's fucking insane. But your son, the dude that hates you, your son is smashing his, his ex wife. Mm-hmm. That's insane. Mm-hmm. But that's Jordan shit. Goaded. But his son is, if his son is really marrying her, this dude is sick, man. Like, uh, I, I I know you what you're saying about, like, Mike. Mike actually has gone on records. Like, he said he don't condone cool. it. Yeah, bro, I'm he, not cool. Bro, he laughed about it. He, he laughed while saying it. <laughs> Mike don't give a fuck. But what I'm saying is, he's sick. Out of all the women you could have, bro, to take seriously, you're doing you're doing this this is basically your arm my boy you know what i'm saying like he's he literally could have any any of these chicks out here. he's michael jordan's son man mm-hmm. you could go get yourself another older woman if that's what you went to you into some old women shit but to marry that one come on now so i've been thinking about it this is my twist on it right mm-hmm. i feel like pippin center you think so? I think this is a mission. I get into the family, <laughs> get the money. If that's the case, man, yo, shout out to y'all. Yo, yeah, that's insane. Right? Yo. Anybody, anybody, <laughs> even, anybody even thinking about that? Send her on a mission, yo. To to get inside the family and destroy that shit from the inside. Get on, get on, get in, get in the, get in the money, baby. You know, you know what? It's not, it's not too far. It's on, a possibility. Man. It could happen. Come on, man. No, nobody's been thinking about it. I haven't heard nobody say that at all. <laughs> thinking about it. And I'm like, this would be perfect setup, yo. If this was like a movie, how would I do it? I might have to cut that. If clip. it was a movie, I would send in my ex-wife and be like, yo, get in the family. Fuck with the young idiot, you know, and and get 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 him to marry you and get the money. Make sure he puts you on the will. You straight. Now we strapped. <laughs> Mm. Come on now, that sounds like a Hallmark movie right there, though. <laughs> Jor- Jordan versus Pippen. Uh, you, you think you think Scotty's that diabolical to do something like that? Never know people are diabolical. She might be the diabolical one. She might be like, "I'm gonna go suck him, fuck him, pause." For us, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> yeah. And this young boy think he doing something, and then she could just be doing all that just for the bread, man. Mm, 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 mm. Come on now, that's Hallmark movie right there, man. It's a garbage movie, but it's good. <laughs> I'm hmm. telling y'all. Crazy. Wait, so, um, cause uh, I don't know. So it's been, it's been contrasting stories. So she's been going around telling everybody that Mike's been cool with it. Mike cool. Of course he cool, man. When, when they asked him, bro, he laughed it the way into the car. He was laughing about it when he said no. Mike, Mike don't give a fuck, bro. I mean, he shouldn't. I mean, his son, his son, what? 
damn near 40. He's growing. You can do whatever yeah. you want. His son's weird. Yeah, well, yeah, he is a weirdo. Yeah. No, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going to say. Shit? Why would you do some shit like yeah, this? It, it, this is, this is, I'm, I don't saying, blame her, bro. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's sloppy. Because yeah, I'm making, a weirdo, man. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah. See, yeah. Because you're right. They, they, they kind of like family. Like, don't do that. Yeah. That there's certain lines you don't cross. No matter I don't even care if they're not legit family or not. Yeah. They, they y'all came up together basically. So nah. She probably she probably she was probably holding him at some point during barbecues, like when he was fucking in his diapers. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like she held him at some point. Now she's holding him. Yeah. Come on now. Huh. Boy. Come on now. That that boy's sick. Yeah, you, you you know what I mean? If you want to do the smashing, you grow. Y'all both grown. But to marry it, come on, bro. You're taking that a little too far. <laughs> Go find yourself some somebody nice, wholesome, you know? Anyway, who am I to judge? Get the old ladies. Shout out to all the little older women that still get it. But anyway, what we got next on the <laughs> I'm telling you, yo, this is a this is a mission. Yo. She's on a mission and she's she's bodying that shit. That's crazy. Um they canceled Made in America for anybody I was looking to go to Made in America. I think it was supposed to be this month, this week maybe, this weekend, next weekend. Well, anyway, they canceled it. Trash lineup. Did they say why? Because it was trash. Oh, so it oh, wasn't enough tickets bought you know, or something? You know who was headlining on Sunday? I think I think this Sunday. Ooh. All right, so Saturday was supposed to be uh, SZA headlining. Okay. Then the next day, guess who? Lizzo. Oh, yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, I, I see. I see, <laughs> and especially with all her stuff going yeah, on, I, I, I can see it. Tickets weren't selling, bro. Yeah, they ain't want to say, but tickets weren't selling. Yeah, they <laughs> ain't no way tickets were selling. If you would have seen that lineup, trash. And I mean, I did want to go see Thames mm-hmm. and SZA. Yeah, fuck with Thames and SZA heavy. Yeah, of course. Other than that, lineup garbage. Damn, garbage lineup. I think Miguel was gonna be there too. He's good. Mm-hmm. Fuck with Miguel, but the rest of the line trash. Mm, 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 mm. If I'm forgetting anybody, I actually fuck with my bad. But that lineup was dookie, bro. Yeah, I wouldn't spend nah that two day pass on that. Hell no. The reason they didn't want to, they they didn't give an explanation. Mm-hmm. They just said, oh no, nobody was buying them tickets, man. Right? Yeah. If you just look at anybody listening, do me this favor. Just Google Main America 2022 lineup. 23. No, 2022. Oh, so look, look at last year. Okay, okay. Look at last year's lineup, and then Google this year's lineup. So, Main America 2023. Look at the difference. Let's see. Fucking trash. Bad Bunny, Tyler, Uzi. That's all. You need to just stop there, bro. Yeah. Go, go look at 2023. Okay. Trash. Ain't nobody was buying tickets. I'm telling you, nobody was buying tickets. I've been. I love Main America. They will. I'm telling you, I've seen Kanye there. I've seen J Cole there. I've seen um. Six nine when he, when he was Jesus at his peak. Christ. I seen uh what's his name uh uh, uh what's the white boy White Iverson. Oh um post post Malone. I've seen the Eagles there, the band, not the team. Seen them there, bro. Yeah, outside of Cameron and Mace, I'm I'm not. I'm, yeah, They're not even a, doing nothing. Cameron and Mason, they just they're just gonna be bro. hosted. Yeah, but outside of that, yeah, Miguel, trash. Thames, Thames yeah. and Miguel and and SZA. Yeah, SZA, that's it. Yeah, Coy, trash. Coy Ray, Lotto. Ooh, I did want to see Koi though twerk a little bit. Shout out to Koi. I love Koi. Yadi. I love Koi. See, I knew I was missing somebody. That was Koi. Ice Spice, yeah. I'm, I'm already off on I mean, that. I've seen Ice Spice twerk a little bit too, but I like Koi twerking mm-hmm. better than Ice Spice. Nah, I'm a, I like the Slim Tings. Nah, I'm 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 not a, I'm not an Ice Spice fan really like that. Huh? Nah, not mm-hmm. really. I mean, you don't like New York girls? They got that. No, no, oh no, it's, it's got no. It's, nah, it's, nah, nah, nah. I don't. I don't think she's a good rapper. That's nah, just me. That's the second New York girl on this podcast. You, know, you say you don't on the same episode, dog. <laughs> you got. You got to think against New York girls, bro. I do not. I do not. I just don't think she's a good. New, I just don't think York, she's a good rapper. New York rappers, and you said you wouldn't fuck with either. I just said that. I just don't think she's a good rapper. Come to it, man. What? New York. I'm not. I did. I, 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 I'm not gonna lie. I found out she was like half Nigerian or something like that. I was like, you know, I could rock with you. I mean, I don't. I still don't think you're a good rapper at all. But I'm like, you, you kind, you kind of dope in my book. I won't lie. That's in two, 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 two New York rappers, man. It's fucked up, dog. <laughs> anyway, next, uh, the Blind Side. If y'all, you ever seen the movie Blind Side? Blind Side. It's about the the football player. Mm-hmm. If you watch the movie, he's homeless and. 
the family, the white family takes the black boy in and he becomes an NFL player and makes millions. He said it was cap. Yeah, I heard it was cap. Said that shit was cap. He wasn't even like that. That boy was already nice mm-hmm. in multiple sports. He was a all he was an all star NBA player before they met him. Mm-hmm. They just took him under his wing, made a book. They told him they was gonna give him money, uh, part of the deal. They they never even adopted his son. Mm-hmm. They faked. They lied to him. They made him sign these paperwork, thinking he was getting adopted. F- lie, and they took all the money mm-hmm. and they been getting paid for that for that movie and that book. So he's suing him. Yeah, get your bread, my boy. Yeah, definitely get that. I heard he said that it ruined his NFL career too. Yeah, because people, it was, people it was were expectation. Like, people were looking at him like this fucking, and he said it, people were looking at him like he was this like poor poor boy that got saved by these white people. And hell nah, yeah. man. That boy was already a, he was already big in this in in the in sports already. Mm-hmm. Like they just saw an opportunity and they just like, right, let's take him in and let him make a make us some money. Yeah, 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 man. That's all it is. And he thought they 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 um. They took him in that, that they adopted him, but they never actually did. That's that was all cap. It, 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 I can't even imagine. It's like you think somebody's sticking in. And it have you, it would have your best interest at heart. And they made him look like a dummy in that movie. Your boy was yeah. not a dummy, yo. No, not even. Oh, man, it's fucked up, yo. Watching that movie as a, as a kid, I remember, I'm like, oh my God, it's such a nice movie. <laughs> Hell no, nah, he looked like a dummy, bro. That's fucked up. Yeah. Somebody made me look like a dummy on, on, on a movie talking about my life. I'd be like, oh, nah, chill. Mm-hmm. Take that shit back. Yeah. Take it out of there. That's yeah. crazy. All right, where, where, where else? Oh, we got um Nike. Nike had some racist t-shirts. They did a collab with, um. let me get it right, with uh, Crenshaw Skate Club. Mm-hmm. As, some SB shirts. Look at these shirts. They look. How they look. Oh, hell no. Yeah, so they have that. Uh, If you ever, I don't know how I can explain this to you, but back in the day, cartoon type shit, the way they drew black people was just like bubbly, big cheeks. Mm-hmm. You know what? Best example. Go just go look at uh, Jay-Z's, uh, the OJ, the, the song. Oh, the story of OJ? The story of OJ. The cartoon. Watch the video. The cartoon. That's Jay-Z when he's rapping in the beginning. That's exactly how these shirts. Nike, Nike put these, those same type of characters on with skateboards on these shirts. If you want another example, if you ever if you ever watch Pokemon, the Pokemon Jinx. There you go. Yeah. That's exactly. But that's like how they that. used to like mm-hmm. show black people back in the day. And they put those on the shirts and they had to pull them off. To me, it's like, come on, yo, they knew this before yeah. I got to the shelf. They did it on purpose, man. They always do this shit on purpose. All the racist shit and then they pull it out. Mm-hmm. Some people were able to get their hands on these shirts before they actually uh pulled them off the shelves. So they're selling for a lot. But come on, man! Like we 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 come to expect this from these companies. Like, yeah. You can't tell me it went through all these people, mm-hmm. and then the last minute, right before they released it, it was like, oh no, we gotta pull it back because it looks racist. Come on, bro! <laughs> I think we're dumb. Yeah. Um, speaking of Nike, Rena Center now rents out Jordans. So if you go into Rena Center, type in Jordans in the search bar, it'll come up. You can rent Jordans for twenty dollars a week. You know. If if you really can, if you, can you do like rent to buy? Yeah, you could buy a whole. If you buy a whole, it's like six hundred bucks. That's crazy. Shoot, the shoes they have on there right now, there is the elephant print ones. Those shoes are like one hundred twenty five bucks. Don't even waste your time. Just right, go yeah. buy it. Like I'm, you know, you taking it from me. I got you. <laughs> you know, so it's only one hundred twenty five bucks. They charging twenty dollars a month. If you ain't got the, if you want to rent it for a week, mm-hmm. go rent that shit. Yeah. Right now there is only size eleven, eleven and a half and twelve is available. Just so you know, so you know. Um, as uh, the police department. Yes. So there is, is um a whole where the hell is the post right here. So an entire police department. It's called Goodhue Police Department. It's actually in Minnesota. The whole department quit because they were only getting paid twenty two dollars an hour. And le- yeah, so basically they left their city with no law enforcement. Um, personally, I don't blame them. I know a lot of people that's making way more than that doing less dangerous work. I guess they, what did it say? Oh, so Mayor Alan Anderson Buck expressed dismay at the unexpected, unexpected max exodus, despite a recent 5% pay increase. 
while the police chief attributed to the reg- resignations to a significant pay gap with neighboring departments offering salaries exceeding $30 an hour. So, yeah, I don't blame y'all. If, there, if there's other police departments that's near y'all that's getting way more, y'all, y'all need to be on that same level too. $22 an hour is nothing in today's world. I'm not going to lie to y'all. Man, they only in charge of 1,000 people. Them boys don't need that money, bro. It's a small town, ain't it? Yeah, it's like a thousand people. They only in charge of a thousand people. Nah, you don't get thirty. Those those other the, the the guys getting thirty thirty dollars an hour. Are they taking? Are they in a town where where there are more people? Oh, um, it's a it's a neighbor probably. So. Probably. So if you're taking care of more people, you should get paid more money. Facts. I mean, yeah, that's true. Stay your job. You only taking care of a thousand people, bro. Y'all don't need that shit. Okay, <laughs> nigga. Come on, man. Shit is ridiculous. I just know I ain't being no police officer. For no twenty-two. Yeah, you could quit and go to the next town, then, man. If you want, if you want to do that shit, but that, like that's probably what that's they did. That's literally how it is. If you the, the the crazier city is, or the more people you got to take care of, the more you, you should get paid. Mm-hmm. You got to deal with more. If I'm only taking care of a th- in the, in this town of a thousand people, like bro, that's a od small town. You know how small that is? Yeah, I know. That's I- fucking tiny. Like that's. Hey, I lived. I lived. I lived in a spot that had like four hundred people. That's what I'm saying. Now think about four hundred more, plus an extra two, and and oh, you're policing that, bro. You ain't doing shit. Literally, every day you go to work, you're not doing nothing. So come on, man, miss me with that shit, yo. <laughs> Move to a different town if that's the case, yo. You, you should quit. You should quit. I, I would quit if I felt like I should get paid more. I would quit. Yeah, yeah. Get a union. Where's your union at, bro? They got police <laughs> unions, man. The union should be taking care of that shit. Yeah. Oh, so uh, Shannon Sharp dropped a couple bombs on us throughout the week. Uh, he's gonna be on first take. I, I know they 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 were reporting it before he said it, but he actually like announced it himself. You know, they put the picture up. Uh, remember uh, when, when D Wade and LeBron they was playing against like the Bucks, and then they had LeBron ducking, and D Wade's kind of like this. They photoshopped Stephen A. and Shannon on on their bodies. So yeah, so they're gonna be on first take. Who's Duncan? Shannon, you know, because LeBron that's his guy. <laughs> um, and uh, he's taking Club Shay Shay, and he's going to the Volume Network. You know, Colin Cowher's podcast network. So he's gonna be with like Richard Sherman, Draymond Green, Daniel Cormier, all of them. So why though, bro? How would you? Why would you go into somebody else's network when you already have the ability to? Obviously, host your own shit. I mean, it's probably I don't know. I don't well, know. I don't know the way the video sounded. He they made it sound like it's some kind of like partnership. I don't know why? exactly. How, I don't know how the network works. If you're gonna do all that shit, go sound like Spotify or something, bro. Like, why would like? Yeah. And to me, it's like he, his podcast is popular enough and by itself mm-hmm. for him to not have to go sign under a former coworker, bro. Like, hell no. Nah. Come on, man. I don't know. Like I said, I don't know like the whole ins and outs. Yeah, but to me, that just I wouldn't do. I wouldn't do that. Mm-hmm. Like I ain't gonna sign to somebody else. Like if I'm gonna sign under somebody, it's gonna be like a big, big corporation that does this shit, which is like Spotify, Apple, some shit. Somebody that's you know bar stools and shit. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. Cause then you making him more bread, more bread, yo. Fuck that shit. <laughs> you do that shit on your own. You could do that shit on your own, literally. Mm-hmm. Podcast and shit, you just you can sign partnership with actually the big corporations and shit, and just still keep it as your own. They just they basically like with music, you, they become your distributor, and that's it. Mm-hmm. And they cut the check. I mean, but hey, who am I? It's a small podcaster. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hopefully, yeah, shout out to him though. Yeah, do your thing, man. Moves, yeah. Do your thing. I think he should just come out with his own show. But I mean, I, I was hoping he wouldn't go join Stephen A. But Hey man, I in charge of these people's lives. They make their own life. It's funny, nah, it's funny because everybody was like, "See, ESPN, all the all them cuts was just free up cash space so they could sign up." That's what it was. <laughs> and he ain't even got to work every day, so yeah. I, yeah, I think he, I think he's only supposed to only be on for like a few days a week. Yeah, two two days a week. Yeah. Man, I mean, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to some quotables for anybody who's new to this. Yo, quotables is just we give y'all some quotes for the week. You know. Um, Wherever we seen them at movies, mm-hmm. books, uh, music, wherever, wherever somebody said it, podcast or whatever, Twitter. Mm-hmm. So 
Let's give, leave y'all with some quotes before we get out of here, mm-hmm. like we always do. So go ahead. Man. All right. So my quote for the week is: Never forget three types of people in your life: uh, those who helped you in difficult times, those who left you in difficult times, and those who put you in difficult times. I got that off the app formerly known as Twitter. Mm. I got one from uh, from Unk. Mm-hmm. I figured it'd be you know since we just left off the topic, but he said uh, he said a man man can make his destiny on the very road he chose to he chooses to avoid it. Some Shannon, you know when he used to be on this beat. Yeah, yep. But there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That's our um, that's our have you heard, that's our quotables for the week. You know if you need some captions for your pictures on the <laughs> on the Insta pages. We got you. Um, but yeah, with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed our episode. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Didn't even say that at the top of the show. Hope you like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed this episode, leave your comments, man. For anything that we, any topics that we talked about, maybe I'm tripping. Let me know. If I'm tripping, let me know. If 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 you agree with me, let me know that too. Yeah. You know, uh, if you agree with anything we say, if you want to. Discussion. If you got any questions, yeah, and drop them in the comments. We'll do, definitely, drop them, drop them in the comments. If you want to follow up, let us know, man. You know, um, we'll follow up on any questions, fan questions. I fuck with fan questions and shit. Mm-hmm. So, if y'all got anything? Holla at us. We're easy to reach. Reply back. Um, definitely leave a comment though. It goes a long way. And make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you give us a rating, please. If you're, that's the only thing we ask is for you to give us a rating on anything you're listening from. That, that helps us a lot. It goes a very long way. There's a lot of podcasts out here, so if you rate us, you know, it helps us go up the charts. So uh, we appreciate if you did that for us, if you haven't already. But, yeah, with that being said, uh, if you're up right now, just keep climbing, keep going, keep moving. Don't just, you know, don't just move across life, you know. Actually, find find out, find a path. Um well, obviously, if you're up, you already found your path, so keep it pushing. If you're down right now, um, you know, don't move aimlessly around this world. Just keep keep going. Keep moving. Keep your head up. Seek some help, you know, from anybody that's able to lend you a hand. And hopefully you got some good people around you that could do that for you. So uh. let me not forget Drake's album's coming out. For all the dogs. Yes. That's coming out in, like, what, 45 minutes? I mean, 30 both. minutes my bad uh yeah we're gonna let y'all we're gonna yep. review the album did you did you listen to U- utopia i didn't get to listen to that yet what you doing boy <laughs> but what have you listened to um i haven't, I haven't even listened to nothing no crazy man yo i'm, I'm i got a new country song for y'all i'm gonna leave y'all on a new country song <laughs> it's one of the top songs i just heard it today for the first time it's by Ol- oliver anthony music that's that's the dude Okay, it's one of the top songs in America right now, and it's called um, called Rich Rich Men North Rich Men North of Rich Men. North North of Richmond Fire Ha! See what he did with the wordplay there. Got him. Okay, so make sure y'all you know check out some go music rap rap right now. Trash, but <laughs> more of you to check out. Utopia is pretty dope. I enjoy it more. I listen to it, but uh, yeah, you know. Uh, if you're like I said, if you're down right now. Keep pushing, listen to some music, get you out of your funk, and keep doing your thing, man. And uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, we don't got nothing for you tonight. So, or today, or whenever you're listening to this, yeah. wherever you're at, I hope if you're listening to us at work or anything like that, hope you're having a good day. You no, know, we don't say that enough. Maybe I should start telling y'all that. So, I hope you're going having a good day. Hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, please, you know, let us know. Appreciate y'all, man. So, with that being said. Bottomless mimosas. Yes, sir. You already know what it is. We out of here.